I think it's about time that we do it. We hey, man, welcome back Come to the Five South Show. Yeah. Let's go. Hell yeah. Most definitely. Yeah. Absolutely is. <laughs> yes, indeed. This is the number one show amongst black people who have health care. Undeniable. Come on. Little no yeah. one clock. He's the only one that got health yeah. <laughs> like every week I go and see what we the number one in. Yeah. We part then, of the healthcare plan? Exactly. And then I have the people send the facts back to me. Mm-hmm. And then I fact check the facts to make sure that they're facts. Because I don't just be on here just saying shit just to be saying shit. I can see why that makes sense. Exactly. Because yeah. we are the number one show amongst Keep black women that have oh, breastfed or that plan to. <laughs> That's so a wide demographic. Another another category we're number one in. Women who are pregnant or may become pregnant. <laughs> At some point. They prefer this show three to one. There you go. And and that's a tough category. What, what to do beat. the one what do the one prefer? The one? Law and order SUV. <laughs> Watch that bullshit. It ain't even SUV, it's SVU. I always say right. SUV. <laughs> the SUV. The, the law and order SUV would be a good ass show. Yeah. I love the people. whole show in the SUV. The Tahoe, the exhibition, the crowd, the, the judge. <laughs> a different yeah, car. Put it on show. SUV. <laughs> SUV a You know what that reminds me of? Me. <laughs> SUV. That reminds me of, scenes. of this old nigga, my uncle, bro. This old nigga from my hood, I just adopted him as my uncle. Nigga had one eye. He came to Atlanta for the first time. He was just so hype on Atlanta. He was like, man, you got to take me down there to Morehouse. Man, I heard there's so many holes down there. I was like, nigga, no, it's not. (laughs) (laughs) You you definitely don't want to rest in the Morehouse. (laughs) (laughs) He misspelled me. (laughs) He misspelled me like a motherfucker, but he said. And they're women. They're women. He said that. Oh, but that's neither here nor there. I just, you know how you have a flashback. Yeah, and I you got one of the number ones. It's OG important. uncle, man. But yeah. today we have a very special guest in the house with us today. Oh, my God. Come on, man. Everybody grab your wallets, your purses, <laughs> wherever you keep your spare change, mm-hmm. your stash. Because we're going to probably, we probably can multiply that today. Because I know they're going to put us up on some kind of game in the infrastructure of, you know, yeah, got financial some. literacy. Because these are my go-to guys when it comes to knowing some shit about some money. I don't know. I put a team of black professionals together and I just consult with all of them individually via Jay-Z lyrics and shit like that. That's how we communicate money. And then they use Jay-Z lyrics to show me this shit in financial terms. And that's why we became such good friends. Ever since I've met these niggas, my credit score keeps going up and up and up. Every you can't time, go no more. I'm like, shit. I'm done. I'm maxed out. Started out doing an episode no on the black market, and then we had to sit out for a whole joint. If you know I'm in New York, I got to stop through there. No other than my guys, motherfucking Troy and Rashad. Yeah! Come on, man. Who I am in the middle of that. EYM. The number one show for credit see? increase. <laughs> the credit increase. Come on, man. Number one, see, amongst, there you go. Amongst returning citizens that have not been home for six months yet. Come on, man. That, 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 are, that are returning home or have returned home, yeah. yes. See? But y'all will never be the number one show amongst black people who have a passport. Because <laughs> we are. are you? Okay. Yeah. All right. My son got a passport. But I'm saying he black. He outgrew the picture. Oh, but he's he, a black does child. He, does he watch the show? Huh? Does he watch the show? He only two. He, I don't know what he's watching. <laughs> <laughs> he know Arby's commercials, all type of shit. So. You mean to tell me you ain't letting your two-year-old watch this? Oh, yeah, but he started saying some shit I was saying. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> parental, <laughs> parental advisory. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stick it on, on the Because I can't, you know, I can't. I, you know, he got to go see his grandma and shit like that. Yeah. Thanks. Right. What's that? Who said that? If you're under 21, you shouldn't listen to this. Was that Styles? That was Styles, and he said that. So, what, what age? What's the age limit for this show? This is the number one show amongst black people <laughs> from the ages of six weeks old to 86 years old. But he, don't let, he don't let a two-year-old watch the show, though. He Could. doesn't have to let him. His two-year-old is smart enough to know how to pull it up on on the. He probably pad. do. But context, my parents used to let me watch shit with cousin 
but they was like, don't be out in the world. You point? know the difference. At what point? Like I, I say, I was probably five. Like they let me watch comedy special. They let me yeah. watch Robin Harris special. Okay. And I remember like, oh, I remember this when shit, Raw man. came on and they was like, get out of here. I had to get out the living room because they was watching Eddie Murphy Raw. I had to sneak around and see it. Nah, man, you just you had to cover your eyes when it was some titties. Yeah, that was cover it. your eyes. Yeah, that was like they tried yeah, to cover, yeah, yeah. cover your eyes. Yeah, yeah but my granddaddy used to hit me with this right here. <laughs> right. Yo. You ain't gonna see both titties, but right. you definitely look at one. I remember I escaped the eye cover on uh, Coming to America because we went to see it in the movies. Fact. And by the time they caught it, I had reached away. So my, I, like she tried to put a hand, but I'm like, no, these is titties. That's, that's <laughs> I know what those are. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, yeah. you for the best. Titties, titties. Yeah. They New Jack City, too. Cover your eyes. That was legendary. Yeah. That happened. Yeah. Because they didn't know sometimes. That's they just had to reach. knew something that we didn't. But they usually that's if they saw it before. That we would once never be the same once we looked directly at a pair of titties. Like, you know how much shit was not even interesting no more after that moment? <laughs> No, yeah, she was still big. interested. You just always on the lookout. Yeah, you, you, you're big <laughs> on titties. Put some titties. That's your thing. I'm big on titties. And it's probably that'd be, be a hell of a. That's a hell of a catchphrase. Me, I'm big on titties. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> <That'd be laughs> I'm big on titties. And titties <laughs> big on me. You got to say it like titties big on me. You can see. Like in the band aid commercial. <laughs> band aid. Own it. I'm big on titties. And titties big on me. <laughs> Trademark. Hold yeah, on, I'm real big on titties. <laughs> Hopefully that, yeah. I see where you're going with this, man. What y'all been up to, though, man? Tell the people what's up in the EYL world, bro. I got notes and everything. What's your notes at? We can't go from titties to just something. <laughs> what's your, no, I'm interested to know what the chat GBT Nah, nah. What's the research department? What's the research department have? Uh, well, we know about earn your masters in Detroit. Oh. Saturday, July 22nd. Oh, shit. Yes, from sir. 2 to yeah. 7. Who's yeah. responsible for that? Uh, that's going to be in, get on uh, East Grand Boulevard in Detroit. Yeah. The doors open at 2. I know that. <laughs> you know that? <laughs> August the 25th, some, gang some gangster shit going down at the Andrew Young International Boulevard, Georgia mm. World Congress Center. Mm. Invest Fest. Invest Fest. They got Tyler Perry Which coming through. Which one is this? this Tyler yeah. Perry. This is number three. three. That's what I thought. This is annual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. y'all came last year, right? Yeah, Come yeah. on, man. So, so y'all got it. Yeah. It's an annual thing. Yeah, yeah, I don't know all about it. whatever. All that shit, y'all. That shit was crazy man. last year. That shit was big. Yeah, crazy. Even bigger. Y'all pulling up? You pulling up? You gonna be in town? Yeah, yeah. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me make sure. Yeah, Last exactly. time y'all wasn't in town. Yeah, yeah. Bro, y'all yeah. always have Invest Fest on show day. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't fly y'all in from San Diego. But yeah, 14,000 people pulled up last That's year. That's a Monday. No, no, August 25th. August, this September. <laughs> yeah. I gotta be in fucking <laughs> Fort Wayne, Indiana. Fort Wayne, what Indiana. What the hell? Yeah. I, I do shows everywhere, but if something, you know, something You gotta changes, go do the show to invest. Be there. I can't come to Invest Fest if, if I leave the investment. Gotta get the back. <laughs> Bro, they were having everybody in there. Steve Harvey, Tyler Perry coming. Come on, man. Oprah was outside, but she didn't come in. <laughs> they wouldn't let her in? <laughs> no, she, she was just, you know how yeah. motherfuckers just, she yeah, was like, oh, Oprah was parking She was like, who was all in there? And then they told her who was in there, and she rolled the window back up. <laughs> she said, let, let me know. Last you. time they seen <laughs> Oprah, she was on Cascade. <laughs> That's a fact. She got family over that way. That's a fact. Well, that shit getting bigger and bigger, though. Yeah. Pause. Pause. Oh, yeah. It, that's, that's, Invest Fest is getting bigger and bigger. Thank you. Yeah, Thank yeah, you for clearing sure. that up. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell us how to tell you. I'm not even going to. I'm not being specific. We're going to say that shit life. right. We're we'll just running back till you get it right. Uh, Y'all have really like grown the bridge. Thank you. Uh, so you Invest know. Fest doing motherfucking numbers. <laughs> <laughs> this shit crazy. <laughs> Tyler, Tyler Perry was there last year. Okay. Yeah. He was one of our headliners. Steve Harvey was there last year. This year, Robert F. Smith is the headliner. Okay. Then he's going to be there as a headliner. Rich Paul. We got Rich what? Paul. We got Maverick Carter. Uh, we Dwayne got, Wade. We got some Steve Stout, Dwayne Wade, Chris Paul, Tabitha Brown, Ari Fletcher. It's, it's a lot going on this year. You trying to sneak Ari Curry. Fletcher in there. Because I, I know the audience, <laughs> they, they, they going to Don't kill. say her last. You can just say it up first. Why we got to say it first? I mean, look at all them people you named in England. Like, they're Ari Fletcher. But. Yeah, yeah, no, we want to make sure that we, we invite Shot. all Shot. audiences, man. Man, man, why y'all ain't get Suki Hunter in there? You know what? She wasn't available. Yeah. <laughs> like you trash. She, she gonna be the four-way in the end. Sexy Red. We'll bring Sexy Red then. 
Get six red. Or oh, Lola Brooke, the little chick from she New York. Up. She in East Chicago that night. You already checked, though, for real. I know. <laughs> That's what he ride around listening to. Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Real Brooklyn. <laughs> Uh, Man, we got to make it through one of them. Bro. No, you got to. All right, Never four. Do. Let's plan for four. Number four? You going to be in you gonna be in Indiana for the whole entire weekend? Well, I got Like three shows back to back? I got a Saturday we show and a Sunday shows show. y'all doing tonight? You got a Saturday Oh, yeah, but no. We, it's so that's a Friday. Two. So Friday, I'm in Fort Wayne. Then well, Saturday, I got to go to Lex. And then Sunday. Lex Kentucky. Kentucky? Yeah. And then we'll be out on Sunday. I'm back. Back Sunday, in Atlanta? Yeah. Sunday, yeah. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Oh, it's all weekend? Yeah, yeah. Jeezy. Yeah. Jeezy's yeah. Jeezy. Jeezy. headlining. He's performing I on Sunday. I forgot you mentioned Jeezy. Oh. Jeezy in Atlanta, that's legendary. Okay. But now, pull up on us on Sunday. All right, Ben. It's, it's going to be a vibe. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Say that. Yeah, you got to close it out. We got, I mean, we got Cam Newton pulled up. Yeah, shout out Cam's to Cam. Cam's going to be dope. We're going to be doing something special with him. Yeah. Um, it's a lot going on, man. We got the vendor marketplace with over 400 different businesses. We got a podcast stage in the middle of, of the vendor marketplace. Who the fuck's on it? On. Who the fuck is on the podcast stage, bro? <laughs> you know. Don't get quiet now. <laughs> Who the fuck is y'all paying to do podcasts and y'all shit? <laughs> nah, we got we got shout to to be some be some on this podcast. Say what? <laughs> <laughs> no, know for sure. No, the same sure. Beast of Moon that we discovered and put on this show first? <laughs> we discovered? Similar. I think it might be the same. We person. discovered a podcast career. We're not taking credit for anything Beast of Moon has done. We love her. That's our little brother. Yeah, no for sure. <laughs> no for sure is the number one uh, podcast amongst women from the ages of 15 to 87. This I is true. I can see that. This is I true. can definitely see that. Yeah, they crown every episode. This, I don't know how they do that. It's a very emotional, it's an emotional They save thing. it up. Their level of love for each other, it shows. Mm-hmm. It's exhibited in every episode. But this, she said shout that out she, to Be Simone no, and Megan. Shout out to Be Simone. She's, she's, she's killing it. And she's doubled down yeah. in the shower thing, too. On the breakfast club? Yeah, I, I, hope she, I hope she don't she shower she double down. She when she do y'all shower. shit. She don't shower every day. They asked her, and she's like, a couple years ago, and she got blasted for it. So they asked her recently on the breakfast club, and she was like, no, it's so like anybody that tells you that they shower at night and in the morning is lying. She's like, there's no need to shower at night and the morning. Okay, it's cap. All right. <laughs> it's cap. All right. Yeah, it, and then wonder why she ain't got no boyfriend. <laughs> I, I never wanted that. That ass. It's that ass. <laughs> it's that ass. That's what it is. It's that ass. Come Don't on. nobody want to keep licking on your salty ass body. <laughs> The morning shower is essential. The morning shower is essential. <laughs> the morning, how you wake up? You could crash out. How you get you your day bypass, going? You could bypass the night shower, but the morning shower is essential. It depends on what you did all day. Well, if, if, you, you, was, if you was running a marathon. It depends on like what that, kind of person you are. You know if you a two shower type of motherfucker. You, you smell miss. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You smell you. You have to. If you start to smell yourself and you don't want to shower, you depressed. If you smell you, everybody <laughs> first else time. do too. First time. Yeah. yeah first time. That's a fact. A little yeah. stinking ass. I'm sorry, it's just this something. I know people out here in traffic with no air funky. They ain't gonna try to sell somebody them stinking ass seats. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl Lex P, and y'all know we coming to Nashville August 19th. We gonna be at City Winery. Doors open at six, show starts at eight. And guess what, y'all? It's my birthday week, so y'all know this show finna be super lit. We got some special guests coming through. Okay, so we wanna know this. Is there a way you can cheat, but it's respectful. It's respectful. It's what she's saying, yes. I'm she's saying yes. What you say, no? No? Yes. yes. I see mostly yeses. I see mostly, okay. what I'm saying. We are gonna party so hard, y'all. This is gonna be our best show yet. Cause last time we went to Nashville, we cut up. This time, it's my birthday week. We really about to cut up. So I'm telling y'all, get your tickets right now. August 19th, City Winery. See y'all soon, period. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. Hey, what's up, it's your man Carlos Miller. Have you thought about starting therapy? Well, maybe you should give BetterHelp a try. You can go to their website right now, betterhelp.com, use promo code 85SOUTH and get 10% off your first month. That's right, I'm telling you, it was designed to be online, convenient, uh, user-friendly, all of that. So if you need somebody to talk to, you want somebody to talk to, or you're thinking about talking to somebody, go to BetterHelp. It worked on me. It's working. I'm a work in progress. How do you think I'm this great? 
I needed help. I went and got better help. Now they're helping, and I'm better. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash 85South to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash 85South. <laughs> I try to sell that car. No, that seat stink. Mm. <laughs> this is what you worried about. It ain't the car, it's the seat that stink. <laughs> no, this is my good. <laughs> Stinking ass seats. So morning, Can't morning. Fuck with this car. Let's let's all. I agree can't believe y'all got other motherfuckers doing podcasts at the fucking investment. I ain't gonna let that shit ride. <laughs> now I'm looking at y'all different. Well, you're in Fort Wayne, Indiana. No, don't act like you knew that. We did. No, we did. Had <laughs> I not said it. You would have been in San Diego. Uh, come on. Y'all on the road. When are you not on the road? No, I don't. It, it, hey, it ain't but one invest fest. We got to wait till next fact. year. That's a fact. Shit, we might need to start doing this every six months. That's Perhaps. a fact. Because, I mean, how are we going to invest once a year? That's a fact. What type of slow-ass money is that? Well, we might as well get a fucking sure. 401k. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how many they do. <laughs> it would be more than one. <laughs> Like, damn, another bottle, bro. How long can the information last? Nigga, the inf you know the information changes every day. This is true. <laughs> so after that, you got to tune into what else is going on. Okay, this is my next question. Yeah. What old white people are y'all bringing to it in Best Fest? Uh, old, I feel like it's, it's some old, regular white people Michael, that got more money than Michael, most people. Yo, Michael, A lot. You, you know who the richest person is going to be there is Michael Novogratz. You ever heard of him? Uh-uh. Well, he's he, he slightly under Robert F., but he up there. All right, he's up there. Four billion. He's worth four billion dollars. Yeah. He's a uh, crypto hedge fund. How y'all be coming in contact with these billionaires and shit? Am I just saying the wrong shit on this podcast? Um, because I just keep meeting regular niggas. <laughs> yeah. I, I keep, re I keep, I keep right meeting up. motherfuckers who don't want to. The biggest problem that you've made so far is not coming to invest for. That's all the billionaires. Don't set. try to guilt trip me, That's bro. You know I'm fucking with y'all. It's like, I got to get this motherfucking street money you. together. <laughs> <laughs> what am I invest with if I don't do no shows? It's the truth. I'm, I'm out gathering capital. That's a fact. You gonna show up with a shoebox. That's a fact. I don't need to be at Invest Fest to Ooh, invest. That's where all the billionaires is at, though. I know, but I'm saying mm -hmm. I'm gonna catch Sunday. So, like here's here's why you gotta be there, right? Last year on Sunday, Dan Cathy, you know who Dan Cathy is? No, yeah, you know Chick -fil -A. these niggas. I don't. He just told you. Chick fil A. Right? CEO Chick fil A. He's walking yeah. around just like going to the vendor marketplace, buying stuff. What? Nobody even knows who he is. Good. You know, introduce him. Chad could have introduced you. Ryan could have. That's the perfect place. He he just walking around trying to meet people. Okay, he so basically you said we need a ben, a vendor's booth. Oh, you definitely should have a vendor's booth. Y'all don't have that? Your merch go crazy. Yo, I got to talk to Chad. Y'all should at least have a vendor's booth. That's you don't got one? Bare minimum. Come on, man. I got somebody who could do that. Oh, that's easy. Bare minimum. Spindle, we got him? What are we doing? Done. It's done. You got one. You just said you got one. All right, bet. We got one? We need two. I want one on. I want one on each side, bro. I want. I want. Can we talk about he another a, spot on the back? He want to be on billionaires row. Yeah, just throw me some, a little, little tent space. Little yeah, tent space. And we got there Sunday. Come on, man. Billionaires row. That's and guess what? Doing. I might even bring some Chick Fil A. But you gotta. You but you go. gotta. You gotta go to the vendor marketplace, though. You gotta touch the people. That's what I be doing when I'm on this road. Yeah, yeah. We, we do a hey, we do a lot of touching the people. Oh, can we get a solid commitment? Y'all, y'all definitely coming to Invest Fest on Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, well, you heard it. It'll be Sunday. The time we get back. Whatever. Man, we don't Sunday. Cameras. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. Now, now you throw a camera. Now you throw a camera. Now you throw a camera. I'm saying <laughs> we can put that. Can we can say that now. Flight back. It's just Kentucky. That ain't yeah. but an hour. Yeah, yeah. early oh, flight back. We in here. All right, so y'all walk through. It's gonna be nice. Most definitely. I will not look like this. I will look like a billionaire. What's that look like? I will not describe it to you. <laughs> Just know when you see me, I will be on my billionaire shit. I may have a monocle. <laughs> I will be walking around that bitch like old money. With the ascot? Wait, where is Troy? <laughs> Someone find him for you. He's gonna have on a fencing outfit. Pardon me, pardon me, <laughs> Negro. Does anyone want to duel? <laughs> I will definitely have a dueling sword. Uh, <laughs> definitely will be on that. But yeah, I'm coming. Perfect. I'll be there. I'm with it. I Pull up, play. Go, he on the show too. I yeah, yeah. Bring, it. bring, I the, bring the merch. I nah, the, mer the merch will beat me there. No, the merch. Yeah, the merch one thing there. about hustling. The, the merch gonna be there. You gonna send somebody from my team? They'll be there at six in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like 
Sunday. work? It's a Sunday. All right, we'll have someone there. What time do the vendors need to be in the building? Can you make sure we got parking passes and all? I need all the vendors. I don't start work till nine. Right. No, we got you. We will definitely set up two booths. We need two, though. It's a billion dollars in that bitch. You think I'm going to have one booth? What if a nigga don't walk past the booth? Impossible. What if he don't make it to the other side? That's a fact. I need to be on both sides. Hey, dog. Mm. We got it? Yeah. Uh, then they need it. It's done. Who? Al Harrington. Shout out to Al Harrington. Oh, shit. Viola. So, yeah. Right. Put them next to each other. You see how that shit happened, right? Just because I needed another one. Now other motherfuckers <laughs> need another one. <laughs> you put it in there. I ain't saying that I'm, I'm going to charge you or nothing like that, but you, hey, motherfuckers was not trying to get two booths, so I asked for two booths. That's a fact. <laughs> you, you started a trend. Exactly. You started a trend, my bro. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. What? I'm, all right, bro. I'm trying to get the brand big. Nah, it's important. It's important. Yeah. So you gotta have a presence here. So like you said, that's that's the most important thing. Be there. We'll introduce you to some billionaires and something you're gonna meet on your own. That's the beauty of it. You don't know who the billionaire is. It's like being there next door. That's somebody gonna meet me and think they met a billionaire. <laughs> the way I'm gonna be in there popping my shit. <laughs> I'm on my way <laughs> to a billion. You ever interviewed a billionaire before? Nah. You met one before? Nah. Oh, you got to call Yeah, I have. I just... Who was it? I don't know. <laughs> but I know they had a Oh, we did meet a billionaire one time. <laughs> Biggest asshole in the world. Who, who was he? Yeah. I'll tell you off camera. Because uh, I don't like the nigga so much. White, I, white, white or black? Neither one. <laughs> Indian? Nah. One of them... I want to say this Latinx. bitch was Russian. Russian? Was I want to <laughs> say this bitch was Russian. I want to say... I don't know, but he's from one of them places. He either Russian. I can't say he either Russian or Arab, but what he did to Benjamin. He, oh, why was he man. Not, why was he I, 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 it was a fucking disaster, bro. Because this just motherfucker just like. Meeting? Huh? Like you, it was a, like you was supposed to meet him or you just randomly met him? Nah, he wanted to do some shit with us, but then we met him and was like, I don't give a fuck how much money this motherfucker oh. got. I don't like this He was just an asshole? Yeah, and like, nigga, it was terrible. Mm. We what he did? Man, we, we, well, he contacted us about doing some shit, and then we got there, and then his motherfucker was just obnoxious. Mm. Mm. He was real obnoxious. <laughs> Short, short answer is like nah, stupid ass, I mean, playful ass. Like just wanna take your hat. Just a oh, play, yeah, take your like, hat and then this motherfucker <laughs> got ten thousand bubble machines blowing bubbles and shit. He trying to do pranks and shit. It was just he's was, like trying to joke with you. Yeah, like, what's up, bro? but he had that like I beat your ass type uh -huh. player. You know, like uh -huh. don't worry, everything's fine. It's fine. You know, you're, you're okay. Yeah. No, you no, guys, I love that. you guys. No. Right. Right, so yeah, we, yeah. yeah, yeah you don't fucking put a tiger in the room and lock you in there with it. <laughs> yeah. No, you like, you like it. Yeah. <laughs> Sasha, good girl. <laughs> you won now. Yeah, one of them type. You fight the That's the only billionaire encounter I've had. Oh, we're going to change that. Mm -mm. Yeah. That's, this year we're going to change it. That's you met a villain. Yeah, really, a <laughs> comic book villain. <laughs> you never met Puff? Yeah. So you met a billionaire? Yeah, we yeah. did interview a billionaire. I be, my bad, my apologies to the whole <laughs> bad boy staff record label. I did interview. Oh, I did meet a billionaire too. Oh, and Birdman. 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 I don't think Birdman. Not yet. Birdman. To me, he is. Top to me. Top I don't give a yeah. fuck what yeah. you say. I worked on to me, he yeah. is. Top yeah, yeah. Top Birdman, of course. Yeah. Yeah. How the fuck you gonna tell me Birdman but, but, ain't but a billionaire? And he gave motherfucking Nicki Minaj $400 million. Check. Shout out to Birdman. He wrote a check for that. I don't so, ask him about no, the bill. No, I'm saying he said that. Man, well, he told him. Then he gave him a drink a whole bunch of money. He, he said, he didn't want to tell you how much. my dog. He don't want to tell you how many millions Me and Birdman that. like this now. He sat on the couch? Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. yeah. Pulled up on me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I might just keep that shit in my personal vault. That's how cold it is. Birdman. I ain't in no hurry to drop it. Yo, you didn't put it out? Nah. Nah. For wow. what? For what? That's for me. <laughs> That's for me. That's me. They got to they gotta convince me to put this shit out. I put a streaming service. Nah, bro, Ultra. this for me. That's yeah. what I hired. That's what yeah, I hired. I, I, might, I might upload an episode of me watching that episode. <laughs> <laughs> now you think it. Hey, Stream it. Stream it. 85. Hey, reaction video of you reacting. <laughs> Watch this part, watch this part, watch this part. Oh, I ain't know I was about to do that. 
<laughs> you heard what I said when I said it? Oh, y'all can't hit. Ah, die. Stupid. Now watch his reaction here, y'all. <laughs> Yo, you ain't seen this nigga laugh this much. Oh, uh, right. Oh, we had a ball. Man. It was dope. That's somebody you we gotta had get him to come to invest. No, I was gonna say, that's he's, somebody he's we on the radar. Need, yeah, we need to. There's a few man. people left, because the people are like, yo, y'all get everybody, but we got a few people left. Bro, y'all he's gotta definitely get one Boosie to perform at Invest Fest. Little Boosie. No, it, no, don't ever say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> he heard you say that. Yeah, yeah. He'll be uh, left. <laughs> Don't ever say it like How that. Do you say it? Niggas said little boots. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, you changing right in front of me, bro. You know that nigga named Lil Boots, and you gonna say little boots. <laughs> Why you no? Know? Not in the South. Not in no, you're not doing that, not on this platform. You're not calling them little boots. I will not allow that. Hell no. Earn oh. your way. You know that nigga don't hear this shit? You know he be on the fucking internet. Yeah, he definitely oh, is. Man. Yo, definitely shout out to Boozy. Oh, I, I need somebody to get in touch with EYL. <laughs> <laughs> they done said my name wrong. They done all, said man. my name all. They done fucked my name all up, Vlad. Who the fuck you mean, man? They done fucked my name up, Vlad. Who the fuck you mean, man? You motherfucker don't say little, little Bootsy. Ain't no, ain't no tea in this shit. Yo, how many interviews can he do with Vlad? No. All of them. Like, every time I go on YouTube, it's like, and he's like a correspondent weekly. Like oh, every single and then he got a lot of opinions. Yo, every single day is a different clip. Eight I, think, clip. I think Vlad just record everything <laughs> as soon as he come in. Come sit. <laughs> he asked him a question, where you parked at? I'm like, I'm like, why not? Which car was it today? Those sound bites are gonna be timeless. Oh, man. man. You think he shuts it like for year four? Like that's the, the person who closes out the the festival, that would be the perfect person? Yeah, because it's so it's so much knowledge and information and good shit. You yeah. gotta sprinkle just a little ratchet in there. Just a little, just a little bit. Sprinkle of hood. That's what we that's what we had. But like he a businessman, but Jeezy like perform, like we had yeah. Ross perform. You gotta have the elevator hood. I see what y'all do. See what I'm y'all have it once they came from the hood and then they elevated see that? above. You but they still the billionaires. Yeah. You know, that's, on that, but you on think billionaires don't want to hear some boozy? I'm not sure. Set like, it off in this motherfucker. <laughs> Dude, they go right back to that billion dollar shit. I'm like, hey guys, we got to set it off in this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> New strategic plan. <laughs> My plan is all dogs. I so don't make us set it I, off. I you your this. mama had more heart than your daddy's bitch ass. I can hear Daniel Penny saying that. <laughs> that's who made you soft. And you gotta get up every <laughs> day. <laughs> That's what made you so. <laughs> hey, hey, the moment I told my mom I'm thugging outside, we don't, don't need, need cable. cable. That's I'm when sorry. I made my first billion dollars. <laughs> I could just hear this shit with the little soft music playing behind it. Just, on those little inspirational quotes. Tiny, tiny desk. <laughs> Bro, you can put that little inspirational quote no, music behind it. No, there's so much shit you can say if you say it like a white person and they don't know that it came from a black person. That shit, it'll incite a riot. If you say, if you say Pastor Troy lyrics, Pastor Troy, with a redneck voice, what if heaven was hell and vice, and vice versa? versa? <laughs> if I told you go to hell, would you tell I cursed you? <laughs> Think about that. For Amen. A Hey, what's up, Birmingham? August the 19th, I will be at the Birmingham Theater. Hell yeah, that's right. Damn what you heard. It's going down like that in a major way. You know how it goes down when I pull up at Birmingham. Shit just get crazy. I ain't even want to say shit in this ad, but shit just get crazy. So look, make sure you click the link, hit the website, get the tickets, put your outfit on, pull up on me. One show only, Birmingham. One show. I'm keeping y'all in my rotation because y'all treat me like family when I come down there. Because Mississippi and Alabama kind of like the same thing, but different. So pull up on me, we'll talk about the differences. I see you though. What's up, what's up, what's up? These are not our clothes, these are not our cars, but we will be in Huntsville, Alabama. On what? The 19th. There you go. October 19th. Yeah, yeah, October 19th. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, October 19th. October 19th. Uh -huh. Stand up live, Huts. Huntsville, Alabama. Right. All our people, all our Alabamians, uh, you know. Well, I got a special guest coming. I already talked to him. Who we got? Carly Russell will be in the oh, building. Okay, yes, okay, okay, look, check this out. Oh, check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Not only is Carly Russell coming, Nick Saban. We also oh. having a meet and greet where you're gonna be able to see us. You're gonna be able to kick it with Carly. Carly gonna host the search party yeah. afterwards. Yeah. It's gonna be amazing. And that you baby, that baby gonna be there too. 
The baby. We found the baby. baby. That baby. We the found baby. the baby. That baby. Yeah, that Turns baby. out he's not a baby at all, man. <laughs> it was now. Baby. It was now. She it said was me. It was she's me. not a baby. <laughs> He had, on no, he had on no pants and a shirt. Yeah. And I was doing this dance that I'm going to do yeah. at the meet and greet. Yeah. When you get back there and you see me doing yeah. this, ladies, just follow me. Yeah. You the Man. only person I seen let the ladies do body shots off you. Yeah. <laughs> you be real freaky, y'all. <laughs> so if that's what you into. Well, Man, what? Hey, no. This is family business tour, and that's <laughs> not my family business. I be the left by that time. <laughs> but when Nav start dressing like Donald Duck, that's when I leave. <laughs> that's why you got to get them tickets at 85 mm -hmm. South Show. 85southshow.com. October 19th. Huntsville. Huntsville, Alabama. Carl Russell, Fort Wayne. I don't know yet. Some girls at Magic City. They earn me money, boy. This is Circus Show. Like you, wonder why people come to this club, man. One night, man, I'm sitting there. Somebody go up over my head, and I can hear the boots clicking. And I look up, man. She's swinging. A beautiful thing. Over there, and I'm like. Wow. <laughs> but they start getting concerned, but they don't fall or nothing. Like, they, they got that down. Pat, but and the crazy know. part about it is, they don't practice like none of this shit. Like they practice as they go. Sure. No. And that's talent. That's talent. That's why people come here to see them. Come and come back, it's up. They start tripping me out when they start doing the little fire store with the, with the, with the fire. Like the they're on the box. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that just scared me, bro. That just yeah. me anxiety, bro. I'm like, oh my god. Me too. Yeah. You know when, you know when the light, like when they open their legs and then they set the fire. They set the fire. Girl, you got that thigh out. Well, I be like, oh my god. Remember that? Got that thigh out. Well, that's his name, Pastor Mom, Choice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> if you yeah. say any shit in our shit, just yeah. What it's, happened to Pastor yeah, Choice? You just stop making music and still out here. Nothing, music? nothing happened to Pastor Choice. Yeah, Absolutely yeah. nothing. He goes to With every the Falcons belt. game, yeah. every soccer game. United. He at the Hawks game. He got shows. He making soccer? movies and yeah. shit. Yeah, I fuck with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all got the chip, right? Y'all want the last one? Nah, it was oh, like two years ago. Two years ago? Something like that. Who? Yeah, nah, the soccer turned up out yeah. here. It's oh. like United. You, be, you don't fuck with that. You I ain't gotta, been up there. Yeah. They, they didn't want me to come up there. They ain't been up there. Yes, they have. Now, they they asked have. me to come I've been up there. What they call it, like a game ambassador where there. you hit yeah. the shit before the game? Yeah, yeah, you hit the anvil. All right, they want. I ain't. I'm my, my schedule. You don't have to do up. all that. You can just go in there. No, eat the food, I absolutely and must and do all that. Shit that. Is great. I must do okay, all that. Okay, we're going up I'm there. I'm the most over the top extra nigga ever. Right, we're going up there. I want to be on the fucking microphone. Atlanta, are you ready? <laughs> I want to do all that shit. It's not a monster truck. And I feel like, you know, like exactly. Like, man, let me be at the. I will host the monster truck rally. You gave him new nickname. Do you see this motherfucker? Them white they people should, gonna love me. They bro. should let you do a game. They should let you do like the color commentator for a game. Why I gotta be colored? That's what it's That's we what fought it hard to get away from that label, man. <laughs> That connotation. The commentator for the game. <laughs> like they, no, had Snoop that, they had Snoop did that, do the NHL. You ever seen that? No. Nah, so he, they I had, heard he got something to do with the NHL. No, nah, they had him in the, the booth, and he did like like half of a period in the NHL game. This shit was classic. So they should actually have you do the soccer game and just let you go. Hell yeah, I'm going to fuck everybody. I'm going to need somebody to tell me everybody's name. They got the sheep. Boy, that white boy cold. You saw what he did when he kicked that motherfucker and put it behind his foot? Shit. Ain't nobody fucking with him. Ain't nobody fucking with that Atlanta. Come on, bro. You seen the flying cars? Nah. Yeah, the ones with the propellers? Nah, they nah, some nah, they, um, nah, some new they, shit. They, they just, they, it's, some, it's some new shit. They just, um... That niggas watch the Jetsons. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah, that shit ain't gonna work. What, it just hover? If it drives for 200 miles, it's electric. I know you don't fuck with electric. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, it's electric, electric in the air. And it, it drives for 200 miles and it flies for 100. Well, when it's gonna come down? How low the battery get? It probably just automatically drives. <laughs> At what point? What if you're too high to come down before the battery cut out? <laughs> I mean, I gotta watch out for you. Imagine you flying and you just all. Is my shit on? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Am I high? Oh, you just trying to brace yourself for this shit? <laughs> I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna open the door. And I'm that gonna shit jump. ain't gonna work. Motherfuckers sure. can't drive on the ground. I know. That's people crazy. saying. I'm not people saying. That's crazy. And what's the what's the route? Well, just right. willy nilly. In the, in the, yeah. Oh, this is. Right no. now, right now they, they just approved it for like real select small areas. Good. Um, 
but they plan on like you know having it more. So go ahead and have some fuck bangs, that, man. You can put a deposit on right now. Nah, fuck that. Let's start off small. Let's just fuck. Let's 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 get these Amazon drones right first. They ain't get those right. They ain't get the fuck. Then they gonna be in the air. Good. Now you flying in the air with a drone. How easy it's gonna be to steal shit? <laughs> while you up there. <laughs> while I'm up there. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, that's air traffic control. We was having that conversation, like, you're gonna need a some type of pilot license and a regular license to do it, though. Well, you're probably not even gonna, it'd probably be self-driving cars. That go up? Yeah. No. You, would you get one, though? I'm asking you, because you fuck with the technology. Yeah, for sure, that's, that's, a, that's, that's a wave, like. Yeah, that's you gotta do it. That's, yeah. How you that's not a, gonna do it? You gonna have a nigga fly over you? Who, who gonna yeah. wanna yeah. be hit, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> he gonna be in traffic, I'm gonna just fly like, true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they gonna turn my shit up. And I turn into the gas station. <laughs> you heard what happened to him? Man, I done seen about three of them motherfucking blow up today. No, hell yeah, I want one of those. You gonna get it out, you ain't gonna get it off the line. When you gonna no, no, get no, you gotta wait well, two years. At what two price years? point would you pay for flying right, car? Right now, it's 300,000. 300,000. That's not bad. Okay. That's not bad. Earn your leisure. For 300,000. <laughs> That's not bad. I'm saying you, you got a fucking car. That's you, what it is. I love it. cars and I wouldn't do no shit like that. You got cars. You got 80 cars. How many cars you got? Man, we on here just talking about what I got. <laughs> I don't know. Right. Motherfucking See? thing. All I got is. You got is, the pimp my ride. I got the ambition and the drive to be somebody. That is the only You got your own car, car collection. I don't Stop own the nothing. nonsense. Man. I work for this company that has a few cars by me. What company? What company is that? Or. What company? Is that? It's a company I own <laughs> by this guy. I work for the T-Lo. Yeah, I don't own a damn thing. I'm but three, I mean, right nationally, I'm upside down. A Lamborghini, a Bugatti, those is way out the price range, right? No, it's just, so as a, for a nigga, it's it just like not right. Bugatti like me. two million, right? Two, four, four, like three million. A, what, a flying car? A f uh, Ferrari and shit. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm, just, I'm the type of nigga that I am, it just don't fit my lifestyle. I feel, I'm, me too. How long you gonna fly? If it, if it, everybody. 100 like, miles. 100 miles. 100 miles. 100 miles. 100 you miles? can't even fly that bitch to Birmingham. That's like, what, an hour and a half? That's like an hour and a half, right? But you could be anywhere in the city. Who's to say that you can only fly 100 miles? You can't tell me That's how to fly my shit. No, it only, no. It only, it only lasts 100. Yeah. Like, the battery it's is only going to go for I'm saying, you can't tell me at what speed to fly my shit. No, no. Because clearly it's going to be some kind of jet or some shit. Right? It can only fly as fast as it can fly, though. Yeah. No, but I'm saying if oh, you, you gonna, gonna tell you me gonna, that I can drive on. 65, you put, but I can put fly a turbo charge Fast and Furious. Oh, fuck yeah, nigga, put Emmy in it. So back to the future yeah. shit. LS <laughs> swap that bitch. <laughs> Why is your it? shit heavy? How did this <laughs> nigga go figure fast, out how to do burnouts in the clouds? It go so, fast. Somebody put down in the comments they like they gonna have rims on it. They gonna have like hydraulics in the air. Ain't gonna be no rims, nigga. They gonna have to just pimp out the windows real hard. Cause nobody's gonna see two you. Seats. There's only two like, people can fit in it. Who's gonna see you? Only people that's in the sky. Right back. It's like oh, side, 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 like the Jetsons. Okay. Like literally, they look like if it was the Jetsons, but modern. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a little bubble, two people. It has the wheels, and then oh, the you really meant it look like the Jetsons shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, that's too dangerous, no, man. Cause even if somebody, they gonna find a way to crash these motherfuckers, <laughs> and then now you just got random ass debris falling oh, out the sky. That shit ain't gonna happen. I mean, that's like a plane, though. What's the difference? Hey, man, a plane, nigga, if you let a fucking plane fall on you, you deserve to get hit. No, oh, I'm just saying. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> what? Just saying. Crazy. You can't get out the way. Man, they There's got no plane falling. Bro, you I got plenty of planes. No, no, this is no the same way that the plane, plane, is plane is falling. But there's millions of planes in the sky every day. Harley is never, there's way more cars These crashes. motherfuckers is pilots who've been in the military and have flown for thousands of hours. You can't just go up there with a good driver's license and get in the air. <laughs> that shit not gonna happen. It depends. You need insurance to drop off the lot. It depends. If it's got the airplane shit, no, I can't drive that. Yeah. But I told you before, if it's got a PlayStation controller, I can fly that bitch. Yeah, if it's okay. a regular. And you're gonna end up just like the motherfuckers on that submarine. submarine. Right, now you exactly. can't play. The controller was not the problem. What was What's the problem? The controller survived. <laughs> that was actually a great commercial for that controller. It was the, it was that they That motherfucker pulled that bitch back up and played 2K with The controller definitely didn't survive. Yes, it did. They, they had it at the bottom of the ocean, because intact. It was the, it was the fact that <laughs> they wouldn't went, fell off, though. <laughs> Eight miles down. I mean, down. it was 900,000 pounds of pressure on that bitch. I mean, that's a deal. That held up. It's a fact. Yeah. They went too far down. They went 800. Like They didn't even make it they, that far. And they went down too many times. You went down, you go down one time, cool, you're done. 
They, that was triple 11. You know that what I'm like, mad at? Them motherfuckers had all that money and never upgraded the submarine. That's what I'm saying, crushed. Release, go down, crush. They was billionaires. Release, they could have bought crush, a real fucking release. submarine. That's true. No attachment to Narcos them. got submarines. They move dope in submarines. You mean to tell me you can't? But they, like I said, they but they just want to just go underwater. They were trying to go to some shit that we've never They're seen before. To see the and that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like the regular Narcos, exactly they, they just want to just go Titanic underwater. Right. They're yeah. not trying to right. go and see the darkest movies, depths of the yeah. sea type shit. Cause why would you, who, ain't nobody trying to do that. I, it looks like, <laughs> and damn sure not now. The, but the man that made Titanic went down there and did it. So white yeah. people won't have to. That's like they Jay-Z. <laughs> James Cameron. James Cameron yeah, did yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully you don't go to that. <laughs> hopefully you don't have to go through that. <laughs> and he had a good ass <laughs> shit. His, 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 his was great. Right. It had ants. Yeah, his, his ship got he had the shit that you could steer with your feet. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker had a light on the front <laughs> like Mrs. Prism. <laughs> would you, would you, which one would you rather do? Go out of space or deep into the ocean? Oh, I'm in the air. I ain't if you go in deep the enough in the ocean, space. you would be out, you of, space. Go out of space. Space, space yeah. then, then deep in the ocean, space. Oh, all Give right. me space. So what you say? <laughs> Why? Right. What'd you say? If you go deep enough in the ocean, you you'll be space. out of space anyway. Oh, you, yo, you gonna see some shit that goes look out of space. But you mean, you, you mean, what do you mean by this? I'm one of those people that, that believe. Think the Earth is flat? I'm, no, it's no, not that. I didn't say that the Earth was flat. I just believe that in is out and out is in. Yes. Yeah, so you just the way that this go fucking, the way that the whole fucking galaxy is set up is, okay. it's not that the Earth is flat. But the only way we'll be able to experience it is in the flat version because we're so fucking small and it's so big. It's gonna always seem flat to us because we won't ever have some shit that's gonna actually be able to show you how big this shit actually fucking is. Because you gotta keep in mind, even if they go and they send a satellite up that takes a picture of the Earth, it's still gonna have to be a smaller scaled down version of the actual size of it. Okay. So that's all. Unless I'm it's saying. really far away. Right. Unless you like so you will never get to truly know how big this shit is. And it's like our human capabilities will only let us experience it in, in as much as we can perceive as flat. The unknown. Right. Because it ain't like you're going to go to a certain point on this motherfucker and fall off the earth. Because of gravity. You, exactly. Yeah, you will. No, I'm no, just saying, just the way this bitch is set up. This shit ain't even. I think that's Jump over the problem. I'm gonna act like the earth just moving around. But I always say shit. Like what you just need the end of some earth somewhere, my nigga. What if it's flat at the top and round at the bottom? Who the fuck knows? You got a little ass like, on like, like, a, like a half a, like a half a spear. Like a half a spear. Exactly. Like this. Like a half a spear. Yeah, so it's like you you hear people say it's a dome, so it's like. Like a dome, yeah. What if we trapped in the middle of some shit that's. We never that's been. some shit that's up and there's some shit that's down to. Theory. You believe that we actually ever made it to the moon? Because people Who say we never made we? it. we? I know I ain't been. Um, p- human beings. Uh, white people? White people. Nah. Never yeah, went. it ain't that far. Oh, no. It's not that far? <laughs> you, if, we, if we had flying cars that could go up there, you'd get there in like four hours. That's the crazy part about it, though. When you say out of space, that shit really ain't but like an hour up. Yeah. But what would happen if you go an hour down? So what the fuck is that? If you know when it's full, it's closer. Oh, hour up takes you out the atmosphere. Exactly. An hour down, yeah. Will take you out the fucking atmosphere. The same shit I said. Ain't no oxygen. Exactly. So similar characteristics, we don't know. I mean, both are known. So what you think happened to the fucking submarine then? Something had to happen. Pressure. Oh, pressure. No, exactly. Got, Where got, the fuck it coming from? The amount yeah. of water. So if it's pressure from the bottom, it gotta be. Oh yeah, atmospheric pressure. Thank you. We know that. Come on now. And he asked me what I'm talking about. He just told me what I'm talking I about. Know. I just told you. It's the same <laughs> shit. Good. The same. All right, this is what I'm saying. The same shit that's under there is over there. As it is below. It is above. Now thank you very much. Uh, this concludes my TED talk. <laughs> and if you disagree, suck my dick with ice in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's some hell of a shit to say to somebody. I don't give a fuck at oh, what point. Man. We're missing a lot of good insults. I thought a lot more would like come about. It ain't a lot of good ones. Like we had some classic insults that's just we ain't died off. Bullying, right? Like you, when the last yeah, time you heard somebody say, "Man, kiss my ass." 
No, they they reckless. You can't even it. say that no more. Because people that, are that, actually that, fucking nah, new. But that's well, too, they eat that's crazy. Yeah. But that's too nice though. That's, true. that's nah. too nice. Kids that's like, S and D. That's what they saying. Like girls that shit, saying that. This, this shit is reckless. These kids is reckless. I work in schools. They, that's that's indeed. It's just like a regular like. You gotta fight a kid. No. Like I've heard a kid tell a teacher, "Go suck your mother's pussy." That's the um Jamaican shit. That's Jamaican that's what shit. I'm saying. Suck your mama pussy. <laughs> Like, <laughs> we gotta fight, right? Go suck your mother. Go suck that's, your that's mother. The, kiss my ass is a gentle. <laughs> that's what I said. Because that's too nice. Go suck your mother. Once somebody say suck your mother, that's yeah, like that's different. See, that shit, that ticket. shit hit different to Jamaicans, but in America, that shit will probably end the argument. Like, it's just confused. Like, what shit is you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to argue with you. That's what you walk around thinking about all day. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> what? Weirdo. What, what possessed you to say some shit like that? <laughs> Now, who, that is it's true, reckless. Like, It's but, reckless. But who, who started but that? But they just trying to who say start, the, but who started it's that? It's about how how disrespectful can I be when I say something? No, true. no, but that's a saying in Jamaica. I know. But who started it? I don't the know. most disrespectful Jamaican there ever was. Go suck your mother. It probably was a lady. It started out as just suck your mother. I bet it was it a was lady. It was probably go suck your mama titty. And then it had to get more aggressive me. You know what I'm saying? Because like, that was like, probably probably like a little titty, baby. Like, go suck it's your not, mama it's titty, baby. Just go suck your mother, right? So suck your mother was... But that's the then, only way you're supposed to suck your mother. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even like the okay. way that shit sounds. That's, that's the only way that anyone's ever so supposed to suck their mother. So then to differentiate it, you got to go further. Right. You got to push it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that's the only way. That's the only way. That's the only way. Now you got a point there. That's a he fact. He has a point. That's a and, great and point. He is never pointless. That's why sometimes Come when on, the conversation man. gets to a point, I just I get out of that's it. That's a great fucking point. This motherfucker knows. <laughs> he knows point, shit. Somebody say that to you. What you it's just you either fight or you walk away. You either just say I'm not even wasting my time with I this. You didn't hear it. No, it's just like I, I, I'm gonna tell him hurry up with my oxtail. <laughs> 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 hurry up. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, more gravy, please. Uh, I, w- I would flip it because I, I know it. how how I am. I would go say, "Will you go suck your daddy's pussy?" See how quiet he got. <laughs> I wasn't pussy. saying you. They I just used you, you. I'm trying, I'm trying as to think a of, target. I, I'm saying it's a kid, though. I'm just saying, if somebody told me that, I'm definitely going to follow up with suck your father's pussy. That's, that's my retort to that. Wherever the, wherever it goes from there, we'll just keep that, that's, naming that, random that's, that's, on, that's on the Drake record. When he had, um, he had the, the dude from um, Jamaica. Who, Benny? No. Uh, popcorn? Popcorn. He's like, go suck your mother. With popcorn, no, with no apology. Oh, yeah, yeah. With no apology. He's like, go suck your mother. No apology. With no, he offering it in, in advance, but no apology. Like I'm telling you this, and I'm telling you, right, suck your mother. No, <laughs> no take back. But no apology. With no no do overs, no apology. That's crazy. Yeah, man. Me no sorry. <laughs> Me no sorry. <laughs> you know what? I, I do like to watch those, uh, those like the, the reggae version of like Summer Jam, where they had an artist who've been beefing, and they come on stage oh, and they battle class. each other. Sound that's class. the sound class, right? Crazy. Yeah, yeah. That used to get violent back in the day. It did. Yeah, they For real? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't have them like, as much. Is legendary. So, Ninja yeah. Man pulled his gun out and gave it to the prime you know minister. Ninja Man? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, those know. Yeah, why he, he, gave, why he gave the gun to the prime he's like, minister? Because like, he was just yeah, showing them he was that fucking bad. Yeah, he was a guy. That was like the '90s, though. Yo, this dude is like the Forrest Gump of, of the culture. Like, he got just a bunch of random shit that he knows. I know a lot of random we shit. We know all this, man. That's why hey. me and this nigga been by this whole man. If he don't know it, we you know just it. Just watch the History Channel, which is like... No, you can't. Ninja you, Man no, you can't even find this shit on the History <laughs> Channel. We had to go with old DVDs. See, I've been in the crib smoking blunts, and I've been watching that. This nigga have some of the most classic interviews, bro. This lady asked him how many kids he had. He said 35. That was crazy. In the car. You talking about the interview in the car? The uh, no, the one he did with the with the lady from the news. The real like she was like real prissy and shit. Yeah. Got got. So he was she was asking him all these questions and he was just giving her the most random loopy ass answers. But he was dead ass serious. Yeah. He, <laughs> he's back now. He made a return. Yeah. yeah he's he, doing shows again. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's still doing the Christian shit. I don't you know, know. He tried to do. Yeah, yeah. No, he do. Christian reggae. Well, he tried to go. How that go? <laughs> go. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I just want. Lot of mercy. Disclaimer for all my Jamaicans. I do not approve this. Lot of mercy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Jamaicans love some Jesus. I don't care. Whatever, bro. We all the same. Black is just like whatever. 
Y'all spent some time. You was in Florida. You spent time in Florida? Florida? Hell yeah. Oh, that's why. You yeah. would know that. This is West Indian culture there. Yeah. What you mean? <laughs> so, like, no one from Mississippi. Not, not, in, not in Tallahassee, though. That's in Fort Lauderdale. I, I, I'm just saying Florida. Yeah, Fort Lauderdale. No, Florida got some. Yeah. They, and, and we got some from the South Florida area. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fort Lauderdale, yeah. that's like yeah. Little Jamaica. Right. Well, anywhere you go, you, it's some Jamaicans there. That's a fact. They be everywhere. It's like, it's, like, it's like it's like it's like Mexican oh, Jamaicans is everywhere else. Me, man. Sure. You a Jamaican? Yeah. Well, my parents are born there. Both of them? Yeah. That's crazy. So you grew up getting the most ferocious ass whooping. Nah, nah. Are they proud of you? That's why you kept the teacher job, so they'll still be like, he's a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> my son? My son works. My son, my son works. My son. Yeah. <laughs> he tries to tell me. Dad, look, me and Rashad, we've been really successful. If you just believe in me. No. Keep the job. Keep that job. Remember, earn your leisure. Nah. <laughs> I can't even suck my teeth, right? It's all right. <laughs> Y'all international, though. That's yeah, a fact. yeah, yeah, man. That's a fact. Is that, did that you play did some shit in Jamaica yet? We went to Jamaica. We uh, interviewed. Don't just be over there vacationing. Nah, tell nah, them nah, nah. to. We went to. We sat down with Usain Bolt. We sat down with Baby Shan. We sat down with Bounty Killer. Come on, man. So Baby we was out Shan. there. We still. We still need to do something on a on a major scale, out there. Just because on a personal level, what it means. But yeah, love Jamaica. We just there, like last month. Y'all hit the UK too, right? Yeah. We just came back from London. Man. UK vibes, man. Yeah. UK legendary. I'm telling y'all, y'all got to do a show in London. Like, Bro, I've done some shows in London, but it's just been long. I need to go back. 85 it's the, South it's his chain. 85 exactly. South. 85 South. Exactly. 85 South. Exactly. That's a fact. I'm not, going everywhere they got black people. Not somebody else show booked you. Not uh, like 85 South show. Come on, man. The Beans and Toast. <laughs> Featuring Carlos Miller. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They I don't better. know what, don't say that, because we don't know special. exactly what that means. That could be, breakfast. That could be slang for some. Beans and Toast? He hit him yeah. right in the Beans and Toast. <laughs> 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 Is that 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 crazy. Yeah. He hit him in the beans and toast. <laughs> White his brains. Whiten his beans and toast. I said, Wait. Whiten his brains. He hit him whiten his brains. What is she going to do? Smack me on the toast? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> London. That's gonna be the name of the festival. Nah, London, y'all gonna love London though. The Beans and Toast Festival. Man, okay. London's vibes, man. You been there? You been there? No, been to you been they, sent been? they sent me back. Oh, they sent me back. At the airport? Yeah. This, he that friend. Oh yeah. shit. He the nigga get sent back and shit. <laughs> Damn. They knew Damn. what I was coming to do. <laughs> they knew what I was. They knew what was gonna happen, man. That's the worst though. They, like yeah. they could have told you that before you left the country. Exactly. No, Don't no, let you no, fly no. seven hours. It was the bullshit of I was supposed to be going over there to do the show. But the people didn't get the proper work visas and shit. So they say, don't say nothing about doing the show. <laughs> oh, and the first, why you here? Hey, right. do the show. I, look at the flyer. No, I ain't say that. I ain't say that. I knew. Terrible but business. then while I'm getting on the plane, the plane already boarded. I'm in my seat. The lady called me and like, yeah, one of the comedians said that they on a show and they pulled up the show and they might not let you in because they looked. And I'm like, I'm already on the plane. I can't get off this motherfucker. I'm going to go to jail if I get off this motherfucker now. Damn. I'm on my way. I got there. I tried to play like I wasn't doing no show. Like, <laughs> he they gave me a fake mustache. They, they, no, no, no. They gave me a contact person. I, I had a phone number. Man, they like, OK, we'll call the person. I call them. They will not answer. Man, I'm in there for a minute. I'm like, nah, I'm not doing no show. They canceled. But they have to like in a holding area. Yeah, yeah, straight off the plane. Damn. When you get off the, you when, you, go when there. you get through the little cut thing, yeah. So you, you could have just said here. that you was here on like vacation. That's what I did say. I didn't say late. I was they, doing a show. They already had you flagged. Yeah, they had the flyer. A vacation for one day. Get the fuck out of my no, country. No, we were there for a few days. <laughs> but they had the flyer for the show. They printed the shit off from the computer oh. and shit. This you, yeah. sir. So how long did it take? How long did we they, call the theater? They're expecting you. Did, I said I don't know why. Did they pay for your flight? Did, no they, did they put you on a flight back, or you had to buy a flight back? No, they put me on the next thing back. Okay, okay. What was that like seven hours? Yeah, yeah. They used to have like this this run in London where you would go and do like you would go there for like ten days and do like, like seven shows or some shit, mm -hmm. just all over the place. But. When I did it, I had the worst experience with those promoters. Like, the shows were good, but these niggas was... They ain't pay you? No, nah, it ain't that they didn't pay me. It's the way that they paid me. Like, by the time, by about the fifth day, and I'm like, bro, where my money at? You got my money? Oh, yeah, man, you can pay it at the end. 
I'm like, bro, I'm just not about to ride with these niggas in there. I know they got my money, bro. What the fuck is my paper? Because <laughs> every night this motherfucker got all this pink ass money and shit. Like, hey, what my, what my? <laughs> Call it money. Nigga, I know I don't want no Burger King, nigga. <laughs> I got food money, nigga. Ooh, my paper. You Americans, man, I tell you. Hey, you say one more thing about America, I'm gonna slap the shit at you, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna slap the shit at you. You say, yeah, nigga, if I even hear you sing so American did he, so how many days I'm just there? saying, by the time you over there 10 days, you'd be ready to snap. But why, where, how do they expect you to live with, if they go give you the money at the end? I don't know. This was back in the day when niggas was thugging and hustling. And, but if you didn't beat, if you made it and you didn't beat them up, they, they would all make sure you had money. You back. It's just the way that they handled it, money. You been back since then? Yeah. Oh. Them, that's just one experience. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The last, the, then when, like, the, when I was going back over there, I've been a couple times. I made sure I was getting my bread straight right what there. What about any other countries? Like, you been to, like, you, you performed in Paris or anything like that? Nah. Paris? Yeah. You been? The first y'all done took, took the early leisure to Paris? We ain't do a show in Paris yet. Right. We've been in Paris a few times. No, you been. You go to Fashion Week and yeah, shit. Yeah, you was out there shopping. You was buying shit off the mannequin. Tell me. Cuts and shit. The mannequin, not in the window, the one upstairs the one where they upstairs. still working on the shit. <laughs> Taylor, <laughs> nah, it's almost done. That's a fact. I don't want nobody It's not finished yet. I want it just like that. No. <laughs> Ready to wear. It's, it's a work of art. You finish it, it ain't gonna fit me. It's a work now of art. Now you know he a fashion model. I know. Yeah. Man, I see the I'm pain. never gonna let that die. That's you can't. Fault. You gotta keep it. You gotta keep it alive. Yeah, right here. That's my dog, man. He international player with it, man. Has to happen. Hell yeah. Gonna probably be walking in, you know, the Fubu show. Shout out to David Jones. <laughs> <laughs> he supposed to, he's supposed to have been over here. He ain't the Fubu show. Keep talking shit till they come. Till they come? Yeah. Who? You want all of them or oh, just yeah. Damon Jones? Uh, hey, everybody's everybody. welcome. Don't this come. is the show, man. I'm telling you, from, yeah. from 18 months to 96 the years old. They fit in there. They this fit show in. is number one to them. Yeah, they still they still operating. That's what's up, man. Fubu? Yeah, just not, I mean, obviously not the same scale. Well, they right? sold it though, right? Or no? I think so. I don't know the details of it though. It's, it's, uh, they shouldn't have sold it because it's like once they sold it, then the shit got watered down. I saw y'all talking about that. What's y'all take on that? On selling the company? Sell it. We came what to type the of Because, well, you know, I, I, I think what they what, 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 on the mm -hmm. clip it was kind of saying, like, people was talking about how people selling their shit and, you know, it's a black owned business, keep it black. And, What's y'all take on that? My take is, it is a black owned business, but you got to sell it so you can have some black ass money. Right. Because that's the whole purpose of right. starting a business. Mm -hmm. And if all you- All work And all they really buying is your concept. And if you as good as you say you are, you have a hundred of those, but now you have the fucking means to do it. Yeah. I mean, I look at it like, you know, you can't have an emotional attachment to a business. It's hard not to, because like if you start a business like a child, like see, you know, that's how you become a billionaire, though. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. That's, right. a, that's fact. a fact. Boy. That's a fact. Yeah. But you gotta think like that. Like, I look at Elon Musk, perfect example. Started PayPal, sold PayPal for two hundred million, at like thirty years old. Like most people get two hundred million dollars at thirty years old, they gone, they right. off the radar, they just chilling. Right. Life is good. He ran all of that back, went broke, started SpaceX first before Tesla. SpaceX ain't, ain't really work out. <clears throat> then he started Tesla. Now he's up $200 billion, like, you know what I mean? He wouldn't have had that $200 billion if he didn't sell his original company, PayPal, for $200 million. Hey, what's up, Lexington, Kentucky? August the 26th, I'm pulling up at the Lexington Opera House. I might be on a thoroughbred horse. Something that you can pull up to the Kentucky Derby with, but that, that's neither here nor there. Make sure you click the link, go to the website and get the tickets. And if you don't, I'm gonna be highly disappointed in you. This is Lexington, Kentucky. Lexington, pull up. And it ain't a lot of shit to do in Lexington. It might be that weekend, I ain't checked, but this weekend, come see me and then do the other shit when I leave. Shit. <laughs> We need this money. At the end of the day, we gotta sell out this tour, man. Shit. Hey, what's up, Fort Wayne, Indiana? August the 25th, I'm gonna be there. Where we gonna be at, Javier? Uh, at the Embassy Theater. You already know, so look here. Hit the link, get the tickets. 
pull up on me, and it's going down. That's Fort Wayne, Indiana, and that's August the 25th at the Embassy Theater. I don't know who you been hanging with or who you friends with, but if they don't have no tickets for this show, stop hanging around them loser-ass people. I'm serious, but I'm playing. I was 21, 20 years old, right? Yeah. So for me, Man. with that kind of money, still living in the projects, we had to figure it out. Right? What's happening, Phoenix? Phoenix! Hey! Where? Where the fuck did all these black people come from in Phoenix? Where y'all been? What's happening? Where y'all been? And I'm not speaking for every man in the, in the If I make it to be making 200 million, nigga, I can make 200,000, I feel like I supposed to fuck any bitch I want. So if Zion, if you want to do that, live your life. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre Nicole. And you are tuned in to another episode Show these niggas a trick. Now, they my house. I done took y'all everywhere. Now, come on over. All them vines and shit. Mold days and shit. Welcome to the pizza ass. What we oh, yeah. got right here? This granddaddy, man. This come uh, on. This is what I got for my 40th. I ain't do nothing to it. Usually, I put 40s on everything I got. Um, I ain't do nothing to this, but put some music in there, you know what I'm saying? Did you do the do on it? He did a booty cat. Did you yes, do sir. Woo, you, you was hitting on that joint? <laughs> yeah, 100%. Give him a booty eight all that. A <laughs> goddamn, okay. That's living a life. When you, when you on the, hold on, when you stand on a blow up mattress and you can get a girl lick your ass, eat your ass, yeah. you a bad, you cold blooded. Hey. No, but shit, nigga be broken in the bitch, man, think about it. You ever been so broke, you just feel like you about to pass away sometime soon? <laughs> <laughs> you be like, I know God ain't got me out here living like this. A Bay Area native, you understand me? You got this, you got to get this monkey off your back, you understand me? <laughs> if you ain't never broke a female off no chicken. <laughs> now, it's nothing that, you know, men should glorify and be proud of, but, you know, it's just culture. Hold on, hold on, bro. What, what he did with that 200 mil? He invested, he invested it into SpaceX. Oh, business. that was SpaceX, SpaceX money. Like, yeah, all yeah, yeah. He ran it, yup. He tried to exactly. build his other business. He ran it back, and like I said, SpaceX ain't, ain't work out at first. Bro, you can't get all up in space with 200 million. Even I know that. This <laughs> 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 man was tripping. Why you didn't go straight to the car? I knew you had the electric car. <laughs> right. Bro, he wasn't trying to go out there yet. He was, he was trying to, but then some other shit. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I just, if yeah. I had 200 million, I think I, it if would, I, You wouldn't be going to space. But it's the infrastructure, top. right? It takes capital to scale. So like when people look at it, it's like, all right, well, you got- But he be, probably learned a lot in that failure. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And he, and and, he and, turned it into something else. He, not, he has multiple businesses outside of that. Oh yeah. But, but they, he learned something from the failure. But they never, t they, people always say like, don't sell your business. Like you black owned, keep it black owned. But they never tell you what happens if you don't sell your business and the business fails. Them right. Cause like, like, like hey man, like hold this said, a lot man, of work. You can, you can own 100% of nothing. A lot yeah. of people do that. Cause when you fuck up and you back at the bottom, only thing they are gonna say is hold your head and I'm gonna pray for you. They ain't gonna give you no money, it's not gonna be no financial lifeline, mm -hmm. nothing like that, well, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's like, yeah, Yo, he fell off. So it's like, Ooh, what happened? You all right? <laughs> you back here with us? <laughs> and they looking out the window. That's but just looking at the way the world has shaped out, <laughs> that's the only option now. Take the fucking money. Or, I mean, you don't have to take the money, you could, you could take the company to the stock market, right? You could, yeah, you got options. Or you yeah. could keep it in the family. Like, there's nothing wrong with family-owned businesses, but whatever is right for you. I feel like people 
the internet is such, I hate the internet sometimes because everybody's got an opinion yeah. about stuff that they've never done, stuff that right. will never affect them. That's right. And they're like, like, yo, you shouldn't have did, did this. Why you they do never this? Did Why y'all do this? Like, right. how you gonna tell me what's best for me? And you just on the outside looking in. You yeah. have no idea the inner workings that it took to yep. do this. You don't know what my plan is. You don't know my financial situation or anything about my family. And you like have it as a priority to try to give me a life advice on what's best for me. Because they done made up in their mind what they think it is. That's what I'm saying. You, oh, you, you, you get an crazy. offer for 100 million, right? And then it seems like somebody selling right their intellectual property for 100,000. And, and they criticizing you. Yeah. Right? Like you've never been put in this position. Right. Right. But they tell you what they would do only if they you in that position. Yeah. They don't never want to be you and do the shit it took to get yeah. to where you at. Nah. It's Motherfuckers want to be, oh, if I was you, I would. You wouldn't be shit. That's why you got to. <laughs> I wouldn't be shit if you was me. It's, it's, like, it's like a video game. Oh, well, if they gave you two billion, what are you really worth? Like, three billion. <laughs> Shut the fuck so up. So you got two, so go get the <laughs> other one. Man, I'm going to take this two million. and then I'm going to flip it. And give me, I'm going to take this two and I'm going to bust this all the way down. I'm yeah. still a nigga. I'm Boy, about to take I, this two billion. Mm-hmm. I'm about to have more than I ever had. I'm about to just take that out, whatever I started with. We're harsh to the people that exactly. look like us, right? So like when we get these type of offers, whether 300 million, 400 million, billion, it's the, the critique that comes with it. Meanwhile, People in Silicon Valley running up 400, 500 million. Not a question. Yeah, not a yeah. look back. Not like, hey, what are you guys doing for the community? Right. Hey, what'd you give back? Hey, how many did you have? If they come right. and ask me to sell this show for 400 million, it's going to be, welcome back to the 85 South <laughs> Show <laughs> with your new host, Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, just I'm gone. And then I'm going to start me a black people business where we find out your real ancestors and show you where you really came yeah, from. Yeah, imagine what you do with that. But that's now right. you're 100 million up. Every, every, now what? Everybody, social media is giving people a platform to just criticize and, and every time What they say in your comments? Like, this is coming from no, no, a hurt I'm, place. No, it's not. I'm just looking at <laughs> What they say, man? Nah, I'm t- cause I, it's not even, because we post content from other people. So I look at other people, like, it'll be like, this person gave fitness advice, this person gave real estate advice. There's always somebody that was like, well, technically, if you do this differently, da 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 like, so what it is is just to draw, draw attention to yourself, really. That's spam. It's not, it is spam, but it's real. It's real people. Bro, but you got to real life. On, you got to click on some of them profiles, man. You got to click then on. Then you would know that this shit don't even hit the same. Nah, that's a fact. When not, you see this, shit. that's a fact. But it's also a mentality of, like he said, black people have a bad habit of over analyzing and criticizing each other. It doesn't happen with any other group of people. Nope. Like. Like he said, nobody's ever asking Phil Knight, oh, what are you doing for your community? Oh, uh, how much did you give back? Oh, That's because their community's straight. But even uh, if it wasn't, they yeah. don't, they don't, they're not held to any responsibility at all. Like, we hold each other to a responsibility that we don't hold ourselves to. Right. My thing is like, they're like, oh, um, what has Michael Jordan done for the neighborhood? What have you done for your neighborhood? Right. Like, you know Nothing. what I'm saying? Because you still live there. Right. <laughs> nobody, <laughs> asked, nobody asked what what. Is that is a tree? Like, nigga, you got trees <laughs> yeah, in your exactly. fucking yard. Why you want to even clean up your own shit? Exactly. You throw your McDonald's wrappers on the floor in your neighborhood. You like, you want, you want, <laughs> you you want, want somebody who's shit. a billionaire yeah. to come back to a neighborhood that he's never been to. You actually live in the neighborhood right now, and you've literally done nothing. A ever. lot of people have. <laughs> you know like, why they don't come down and clean up this motherfucker? <laughs> why you keep putting that shit down there? <laughs> Some people just have a savior mentality. That's like, a fact. It's gonna magically happen and just That's change the yeah. conditions of their life. No, it doesn't work like, like that. You're responsible for your own, own fucking that, life. I mean, that's if you got that complex, yeah. that's that's what you're waiting on. You, yeah. <laughs> that's more active than just sitting there waiting on a motherfucker to come save you. That's a fact. Yeah, man. It's not gonna happen. No, it's not, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> He's Fuck not out of here. They're not coming for you. Black people <laughs> talk about what black people don't do too much or what black people do do too or much. Or need to do. We need to just do shit. Do something. And we're gonna save the motherfuckers that we can save. We're gonna help the ones that we can help. And the ones who want to say bullshit and not be a part of the progress gonna get left where the fuck they at. It's really that simple. Yeah. There's generations of that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, who is we? <clears throat> no, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> like you on your own. 
<laughs> me and the motherfuckers I know. That's when I, when I say we, I'm talking about me and the motherfuckers I know because we already talked about this shit. About this we going to get us some money first. <laughs> us. Then we going to help who the fuck we can help. Is we us, but we not gonna <laughs> fuck up our money trying to save everybody. We oh, just boy. not gonna fucking do that. You just lead by demonstration. Thank you. Yep. There you go. That right, Marcus like, Garvey yep. type shit. Like what you've done here, what y'all built here, right? People, and we used to have this conversation before we started. It was like, if people watch what y'all doing outside of just like the entertainment part, the business structure, what y'all doing, how y'all hiring, that's inspirational. Like. There's no difference from, between you and the dude that's in your neighborhood. Who yeah, you but see, we have to camouflage some of the shit we do because we still niggas. So we have to put the weed in the show. To, to, it's like a cloak. We don't need them to know that we running shit. They need to just know that we are doing our part. We doing the fuck out of our part. We got Absolutely. four or five different back to school drives. Yep. We we helping the homeless strippers. We are um, <laughs> the homeless strippers. We are. Point, shit. So That's the point of demographic. Exactly. There's so many. There's so Boys many. Boys and girls clubs. You know, a bunch of homeless uh, so popping many up at the high school and, and extend the stays. Right. That's homeless. Too. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. I didn't know that. Right. Extended state, that's homeless too. Yeah. Yeah, it's yes. teetering. It's teetering. Yeah, it's 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 you, it ain't home. <laughs> <laughs> it is not home. Yeah, you man. never stayed in one of the motherfuckers that shit ain't. Hey, hey. Somebody else's kitchen the wall. Don't even feel like an apartment. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I uh, gotta give a shout out to him, my boy MG. The mortgage Matt, guy. Shout out to Matt. Matt yeah. Yeah. Man, the that dude cold, man. Matt the mortgage guy. Yeah, he came down and talked some good shit with me. And I know y'all be. You uh, smoke with y'all? I don't know. I can't. I would never incriminate nobody. Yeah, we all, we all. Why are you test. asking that? That was a test. <laughs> so I see that was a test. So I'm, not, I'm not sure if he did or not. Anybody who did come I out. I smoked with me. And smoke. Anybody who come on this show and smoke is smoking on they We don't even court. smoke on this show. This is all. This is CGI. C Thank you. It's we AI. just using what's available to us since, you know. Shit is down right now. It's deep, deep fake. It's the cloth. This blood is holographic. Right. It's a deep fake. Yeah, it's, it's cloth. Cool. Some absolutely. people, like you were saying though, some people ain't gonna support this shit just because it's us. True. And those people wasn't gonna buy shit anyway. Like that's why I don't argue people in the comments. I'll just block somebody. Eighty-five percent. They're not. Sure. They're not gonna support you anyway. The people that are don't block everybody though. Sometimes it's good to go back and forth so you can stay up on your shit. Or. To set an example, right? Sometimes you just gotta like embarrass somebody and set an example. Because they You not, start making captions about that shit. You just respond in the captions. They're not gonna support I you. Quote that shit. You're never gonna get a dollar from them ever in life. So why even waste energy? And why mess up the ecosystem? But they're giving you social currency too. In what regard? Because they're keeping all this traffic to your page. Because exactly. these motherfuckers not only will argue with you, but they will argue with anybody who Yo, engages heart. with them. That's the crazy shit. They, the this is a business they that we not trolling is a billion never, dollar business too. Somebody that you never yeah. met, bro. Like you gonna argue though. with somebody for hours. So, social and media thrives on negativity, man. You didn't read what the person put in the first comment, <laughs> and you now read? you mad. Yeah, yeah. And now a motherfucker mad because they said you didn't. Oh. I know how to read. Uh, I'm just giving my opinion. <laughs> uh, man, we need these motherfuckers, man. That's the duality of life. Part of it. It's gonna be people who gonna come and celebrate and turn this shit up to another level. And then we are gonna wait on them. We gonna worry about the five motherfuckers who can't get in the party. We gonna let them fuck the party up because five niggas couldn't get in. That's why you kick them out. Thank you. So we supposed to the give party. a fuck what they did in the parking lot? We supposed to be in the party enjoying the party. The party, the party goes on regardless. Thank you. The show must go on. Yeah. Sh shit. Absolutely. And we'll go on. That's a fact. That's what the best us looks like. That's why y'all gotta be there. See? The party That's going fast. on this side. So basically, this whole conversation, we've been talking about Invest Fest. The whole time. And didn't even... And didn't even know it. I told you, motherfucking. I ain't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> Up and down. The Put the weed cloak up, man. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody get my, my smoke cloud around me. Delete this. Push the button over there. Turn the blood off. Put the blurry thing on it. Turn, Turn the, the blood off. off. <laughs> it's holographic. That shit goes <laughs> glitch out my head. They have been buying up some real estate. Um, yeah, we got some some properties in uh, Ohio and Connecticut. Okay. Yep. okay. Um, what part of Ohio? Oh, uh, maybe Cleveland. Dawson. Okay, Cleveland. Cleveland. Yeah, yeah, Cleveland. We're looking at Detroit. Like, markets that's still, you know, affordable? Somewhat. 
Cleveland. Y'all done bought a man for Cleveland. Hey, These motherfuckers done bought the whole West Side. Yeah, I get some shit in Nashville. We was out in, uh, we was in Memphis. Uh, we was in Nashville. Yeah. Uh, driving city. Milwaukee too. Yeah. I saw this this uh I don't know, you know how you consume so much media, you don't know where you see this shit. But there was this white dude, he was saying like, it's better to buy property in Republican states. I I, I would why you say that though? Because they favor the owner. Yeah, that's as, a fact. That's a fact. No, that's a fact. Room. That's a fact. Like in George, like the the mm. laws for Landlords in Atlanta is crazy. Like you could kick somebody out in a week. New York, they're staying a year and a half. More not, than that. not pay rent. More than staying that. a year and a half, sue you. You gotta pay yeah. them. Like you can't get rid this of a tenant. Is, oh, you gotta go to trial to get them it's out. It's a tenant. It's a tenant friendly state. <laughs> this shit is crazy. So it's like they literally can be slum. They could tear your shit apart, stay for as long as they want, not pay you rent, and there's nothing you can do about it. It's terrible. And, and they, they know can that. the government pay you. Nobody pay you. Nobody pays you. It's your place you rent and nobody yeah, pays you. We can't, we can't do that. So what then what you do? We, can, we, can, we, we cannot we cannot I'm promote saying, any I'm violence saying. on this show. I will not allow it. This is a family show. Yo, I would if, if it's my spot and you're not there, I'm just saying you're gonna nah. come out your door one day and your kneecap not gonna be there. We can't make hypothetical threats either. We cannot think, condone think, this type of behavior. Best fashion in Atlanta. I got some it, shit coming up with some billionaires that they know, and we're gonna have to turn this fucking thing around. Well, the billionaires understand. Hey. You gonna get up out of there. <laughs> if I got a billion dollars, you gonna leave. <laughs> see, you, see, that's not billionaire thinking. You thinking so, like a millionaire, my nigga. Put the tiger in there with you. <laughs> Such a, uh, you don't want to leave? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the tiger in. Let's go in there and take a shit on the middle of the floor. <laughs> no problem. No problem. We gonna you don't want to leave? You don't want to leave. Okay. I that's take shit in your house. Just <laughs> <laughs> be in the house when they come in. Oh, and bring your family. And okay. bring everyone. You ever smell tiger shit? <laughs> Yo, we gonna introduce you to our billionaire friends. We gonna clean this up first. We gonna take all the weed away. We gonna there we go. No, the fuck we cool. not. Because we, we the know we if they real cloth. billionaires, they, yeah. they gonna they gonna try to sneak in the bathroom and do some cocaine. So how yeah. dare them? After dark. Fucking come out here and try to judge my blood. He smoked on um drugs. Oh, he's a lot different. A billionaire's messing with the weed space. They fucking with the, 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 the legal shit. That's what he should do. He really want to piss them people off. He'll yeah, come on this oh, show and do that. Level. If he came Eli, on this show, Jay, then that will take it to another you, level. You smoke Viola? Elon Musk. Elon Jay. Musk can come on this bitch. No, that's that's yeah. Al Harrington. He was saying he need a boy. Oh, no. But he's okay. not. He, he better Harrington. have some good ass presence. He got. He, got, he gonna be at invest. He got Viola. It's a I number one black owned cannabis company in America. I want to fuck with him. He like controversy. We put that on. So he he would definitely yeah. come on this black ass show We're gonna get some. and smoke We're gonna blunts get some with some black dudes and then piss off white America right before the new Tesla come out, bro. Then we fuck Sorry, around and, and get a couple hundred million just because we had the right kind of weed that he fucked with. Then we get off camera and get the kick in this real shit. Man, we, we get plugged in. We pl see, Elon Musk nice is thing. the real white folks. Them the real white folks. Like, them motherfuckers outside, they be here, like, outside yelling and shit. Yeah. Them ain't the real white the folks. The crazy thing is, like, we, Elon Musk and them, them the real ones. The crazy thing is, like, you didn't do it. This is not about it. Four of them can take over a whole, like, a whole fucking country and shit. Oh, I had to add it up. Like, it, Elon Musk and three of his partners, oh. the motherfuckers who his big homies. Elon Musk could take over a country. Right by now. himself. I'm saying, bro, but you don't never want to take that kind of risk by yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's how you make it far in business. You know that. He could have bought the country for the price of Twitter. Here we go Just talking about shit we can't afford again. 44 billion. It's a lot. It's a lot. 44, 44 billion is a billion. lot. You could have bought, like, bought some of them little countries that's hard to pronounce. That's an obscene amount of money. You could buy a country that you that you <laughs> would be surprised. <laughs> no, some of these countries ain't what you think they are. That's a, a bunch of them that you can buy. Hell you know, yeah. That's a Trump would have sold that bitch. <laughs> That's the thing that you don't right know. Now. He wanted it small. He might have fucked around and sold this bitch and ain't told nobody yet. You know how long it take for that type of paperwork to come out? Totally. That's why he kept some of that shit at the crib. Yeah, so now we own America too. <laughs> <laughs> you don't leave, we shit on your country. <laughs>
Oh, he like <laughs> That's why he kept that paperwork, man. Trump done fucking around and sold his bitch, man. That's why he kept that shit you at the house he, in the so bathroom. You, think, you know he's running for president. You think how you think uh, how you think this is going? Play off. That, that oh. motherfucker gonna win again. Uh, you think he's gonna win? But he is he is unbeatable. What do you think? What do you think? You said unbeatable? He can't nobody beat him. Uh, unless unless somebody just come out like making sense. Like it would have to be like I don't know, man. It had to be somebody that came out talking the most shit, but it made sense. He got to talk. You got it's wrestling. You yeah. gotta be bigger than him now. You gotta talk more shit. Motherfucker gotta come out and pour two beers down his throat and get to talking shit so, to beat nah, Trump. Man. Like this shit, nah, motherfucker. You can't be regular no more. You can't be presidential. You can't be a politician. Nah, this he's shit's different, so different, man. Shot yeah, he's not there. He different. This is gonna be legendary. It's gonna be hilarious because he's gonna win the Republican nomination. Yes, man. Because that motherfucker different. And That's what I'm trying to tell you. He going you can go out there and make the most sense, and he gonna come back and with the most childish him. insult. White people love but this motherfucker is, different, uh, man. They try to sabotage him <laughs> on both sides. Republicans try to sabotage him, Democrats, and he's still gonna win. So now you're gonna have, he's gonna be a really outlaw this time. But you he can't, can't though. He, this motherfucker he is like a totally good comedian. He's times worse than he was last time. He's he like, like a good ass comedian. He always got to come back. They I'm, never I'm can saying, catch like, this motherfucker time, off guard. He at least had some level of, like, I gotta chill. You know, the Republican Party still backing me. Now they turned their back on him. So now he's like the real renegade. Um, he got he the gonna people go though. Crazy. He got 78 million. So votes. he gonna blame them, and then he gonna blame the Democrats. He just gonna say whatever. He, like now he's really gonna be unhinged. Unless they try to lock him up. Miraculous shit happens. Unless he gets locked up. If he, he gets, gets he gets locked up, and then they can figure out. 300 million people get their student loan. You re- seen what going to jail do for a rapper? <laughs> Imagine what that shit would do for which a president. Rapper? Which rapper? Oh, he got a, they no, not what? about to give him no hard no, time. Rapper? Oh, That's... shit, Tupac. He, he come, he gonna be on some Tupac shit. He'll do his that. time. Don't right. say that, because the white people already said that. Man, y'all motherfuckers. I'm telling you. TikTok, a white girl was like, Trump is Tupac. <laughs> and all. And, I didn't know like, that. I didn't yeah, know that. what I'm saying. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't. But what I'm saying, they're gonna say your clip, and they're gonna be like, Carlos, it's with me. No, I'm not. I ain't with him. I'm just saying, it had the same impact. TMZ. Especially if he do his time right before he take over. Do his time. Which That motherfucker come back out and he like, I got shit. Which rapper has jail worked out for? Tupac, Tupac has worked out. That's recent. That's 30 years ago. Uh, Kodak, 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 Kodak Black. That's worked out for him? Yeah, he's no, he's the hot. He's hot. He but came he's out man. and did get super grim and after jail. That's Rap that's used that's after jail. Jail used to be part of the promo pack. Used uh, to Gucci he said. man. Musically? Yeah, he still was relevant. Came out. Boosie. Meek Mill. Meek Mill. See, this list could go on and on Ooh. forever because there's too many niggas that's you don't fact. even know went to prison. Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. Decline after that. But well, he still was still Lil Wayne though. I think it was a personal choice. The decline? Man, he that motherfucker back. had 500 songs in a year. You think he he don't give a fuck no more. He beat the game easily by himself. You oh, remember when the Vibe magazine came out with the 200 best Lil Wayne verses? He oh, God. Come on, man. Kevin Gates. He became a bigger artist? I think so. Yeah. Most rappers do. If people already fuck with you. T Grizzly, first day out. Well, he was already home. artist. He was already home. Yeah, but I'm saying his song first oh, day out. Yeah, that's, that's a great yeah, song. Yeah, that's a great song. That's a fact. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, he had all that shit. <laughs> he, he was thinking of that shit while he was in there. <laughs> Trump. Wait till I get out. So you saying Trump's gonna win? That's you Trump. asking me? So these people on this camera can be like, oh, I don't fuck with dude. I, mean, I fuck. I know how America works. This is a low down, dirty <clears throat> mother. It's a sca- the anything, times is too scandalous. They want so sensational. He would easily beat Joe Biden again. Yeah, oh, he's gonna win. If they go back. And, he's winning. Man, these this motherfucker just gonna look at Joe. He doesn't even know he's here. Ain't hey, that <laughs> white people gonna eat that shit up? He doesn't. Yo, Joe doesn't. Joe doing bad, bro. Every day, if he forward, can figure out the student loan thing, they got a chance. I'm just saying, it just looks worse. Like, he can't they work properly, he yeah, can't he talk looked, properly. I'm talking about from the age like, standpoint. That's what I'm saying, like, they hide it. I feel like they hide but it. Aren't like, they only two years apart, though? I don't care. Man, it don't matter. I, feel I like, hope he's good. I want him to be straight, but, man, at this point, both of them old as shit, man. And what? there's never going to be no young people in there. You don't think so? When? Obama got old as soon as he got in there. He got gray hairs now. You got to be, what, 40? How old you got to be? 35? 35. You turn 40 as soon as you win. <laughs> Five years. I'm old enough to run for the president? We we could have yeah. been there. Y'all the fuck with it? 
Yeah. Y'all introduced me to the yeah, billionaires yeah. and shit. That's a fact. I right, bet, because I'm going to be the child support president. I'm going to be the nigga changing all the child support laws. First law you changing about child support? Oh, first thing yeah. is we're going to start small and build it up. That whole suspend your license shit, <laughs> revoke your passport. No, nigga, you got to be able to go get this money. You behind. Fact, and yeah. if you can't, we're going to give you a certain amount of time, and then we'll give you one of those bullshit-ass jobs like where you can't not come. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you know how they go work here. Right, you at least yeah, have to work here. Oh, you can't pay your child support? Oh, fuck, okay, well, you going to be on this, we're going to build these motherfucking highways and shit till you get caught up. Yeah, I'm going to put you out there with them niggas who be filling the potholes and shit. And you yeah, work somewhere. Yeah, you'll work this shit off. Work release. But we ain't like that ruin your life shit. Throw you in jail. Yeah. You gotta come nah, out but it ain't like you gotta stay there. You come there, you work it. Work yes. there, you work it off, and you get your ass back, yeah. and you work somewhere Cause else. Because it ain't shit you can do for the kids in jail. That's a fact. Sure. Right. Good proposition. And if you got you and your baby mama, y'all can't get in, y'all can't get this shit together, yeah, then y'all gonna have to have these sessions with the lady. Now everybody goes to so gotta go see the lady. You thought about this. Oh, uh, hell yeah. Everybody got to go see the lady. Because <laughs> yeah. they're fucking up the kids. Y'all yeah. doing all this arguing and shit. Yeah, go see, go talk to that lady for 12, 12 weeks. <laughs> Don't come back into this paper field. And that lady done saying every time. I like it. You got to get it. Child support. What, what's, the, what's the official title going to be? Child support reform. Child support reform. They try to do that. That's going, cause that's going to fuck, that's going to help with the debt too. They, they, they tried to do that in California. Um, they were trying to, uh, they tried to tie it to the student loan shit. Forget, <laughs> child support forgiveness. <laughs> they tried to, they tried to push it through. If I ain't child paying for these kids, I damn sure ain't paying back to school. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not paying for my own. Get two for one. Get two for one. Get two for one. And I change the taxes. I fucking change the taxes too. Because you shouldn't have to file your taxes. That's a fact. Because they know what the fuck they took. I know what they yeah. They know what they took. Somebody they should look, just. Most people don't look at somebody it. Like said, that. Somebody, they, somebody they, said a good point. Like, it's reparations, they still trying to figure it out. Just let black people not pay taxes for You know years. who said that? You? Me. All right, well, good idea. You say not let us pay taxes. For let, but we tax free. I believe that, but really we should be like all inclusive. And we ain't, we automatically years. qualify all with. for all, all the government benefits, like, like a whole lifestyle for five years. All inclusive Rent, lifestyle, free. Everything. You need your car mor work done, mor free. Mortgage free. Mortgage you free. want new teeth? Free. Mortgage? Yes. Mortgage. Yeah. Get That's you what I'm house. saying. So all that should be years. all time. All inclusive. College, everything. School, everything. Fuck five what? years. We should have qualified for every program automatically. <clears throat> Whatever they got. Even if we don't qualify. That's Zero percent interest. That's the purpose. Too. I would love it. Everything. Fuck, fuck equality. But then we got to figure out something for the kids that's born. Yeah, well, now the parent that now that you're supposed to be able to get yourself together, so now the kids yeah, can benefit from can have some, it. Right. Yeah. So it gotta be a generate like you gotta put a time stamp on the, the people who qualify. Every black person born on in America, like if, in Dubai and shit, when you're born over there, you yeah. get certain kind of little benefits. You should get some too. What you get? Shit. You get free All your haircuts you get, be free. I mean, that shit is crazy. Motherfuckers <laughs> don't talk to you crazy in public because they know free who your okay folks on top. <laughs> you said your haircuts be free? Man, everything be free when so you call it the right shit. Huh? So kind of like Canada. Canada, but even better because I think you get even a stipend. Like, they pay you monthly. If you're like an Emirati, like, if you like from... Because most Because the like, oil, it come from the oil, but Yeah, they right? so rich because 90% of the people is immigrants. So very few people are actually from. Dubai. Oh, from, so the ones know. that's really from there. The yeah. ones that's really okay, from there. Okay. Like they call it the, the Emiratis. They get like, they don't even really have to do too much. Yeah. Like, they they don't. Like, yeah, everybody and even when they go that's out and put them in, people be giving them shit for free and all kind of shit. They be I did some shows yeah, over there. See this shit? In Dubai. Dubai. Yeah. I did. They pay well. Dubai treat me like an Emirati. Yeah, I know. I even went and got my shit tailor made. Yeah, Hell yeah, I went to the motherfucker. You over there in the gown. Yeah, I did my shit. I had you my shit on. But it wasn't just like, you know, they got something that they just ripped you, you out of the pack. Sleepy. Nigga, I'm over there <laughs> looking rich. Like, but yeah, you got the baby in my face. Yeah, yeah. You're supposed to do it. Yeah. You wrapped your head up. Fuck yeah, that was the first <laughs> shit I asked about. Hey, is it disrespectful if I give me one of them? His head is bald. Oh my. Because that's the flex. <laughs> Who do? That's the flex. When your shit tied up tight and right. Fact. 
You got to You see up. all kind of different styles that and shit. shit. I promise hard. you gonna see somebody over there. You be like, true. man, that shit, that shit hard. Yeah, his is different. Oh, his rap different. Man, that nigga might have some silk with some butterfly shit on it. You never know. Flakes on it. Nah, it's yeah. real. Dubai That's different. Hard. Dubai is different. What kind they of got, you saw? They got brand new cash over there. That shit is amazing. What you saw with the Wilkes? Oh, I saw everything you can imagine outside the mall. Every luxury car you can name, from a Bugatti to a goddamn Bentley. And they don't just pull up in one. And it's like if you know, if you got paper, hot. you don't pull Engine up in no heat. fucking one car. <laughs> <laughs> they don't pull up in no fucking one. It's a fleet. Yeah, if you, you got dude, pull up. He, got, he got people with him. Or if it's one, one dude, he might he not gonna have one Rolls Royce. This motherfucker might have twenty three of them bitches, but he'll be right behind them in a goddamn Ferrari, Lamborghini, some shit. They that's just regular shit. That's shit you'll see on the side of the highway or something. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about that. But when you do see them. They are driving the fuck out of them. Like, everything that the car do, they gonna fucking do that. They <laughs> like they on a fucking Need for Speed video game or something. You saw the two wheel shit? What two wheel shit? What that was just a, how was I supposed to know what that is? What the fuck is that? Motorcycle nigga? No, the car. You know, what the fuck? Drive you ain't to... seen the shit where they be out there and they look like a damn near long ass tarmac and they'll get that bitch on two wheels. And it'd be like an SUV and they had that bitch swerving. You ain't seen that shit? I assumed it was in Dubai. Uh, shit, I don't know. Yeah. I ain't never seen it. Universal that. Studios, my nigga. Oh, I seen some shit. <laughs> I seen Buddy hop out the car. He was sliding with some sandals. No. On a two-wheeler? No, he was outside like a BMW. Oh, like a BMW. Oh, with some leaks and shit. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I did see some shit over there, bro. I know they got these speakers over there. I don't give a fuck where you at. I don't give a fuck where you at, bro. When it's time to pray, that shit come in clear than a mother. I'm talking about it sound like a nigga in your ear. You could be outside in your house, at the mall, wherever the fuck you at, you gonna hear that shit. I don't give a fuck if you standing out in the woods. You probably hear that shit. Through the whole country, just. Time. Right, just <laughs> pop up. <Right. laughs> Nigga already be praying. He don't give you time to get ready or nothing. <laughs> right. This shit lasts for a minute, too. I was like, boy, I feel like company like a mom right now. Because ain't nobody even tell me this shit. <laughs> you ain't get trouble for eating? Nah. You might be eating during everybody. Nah, they, they, but say I was on <laughs> hey, man. I've been seeing a lot, like, they said some girl got arrested over there for screaming at somebody. Yeah, I saw that. I don't know. For screaming at somebody? But yeah. I always felt like some shit like that would happen. That's why I wasn't able to fully enjoy it. You know, because I was like, I don't really know what not to do. I just know it's a lot of shit that you can't do that you're not supposed to That's do. Like, I, I think you low key do. Everybody know what they're not supposed to do. It's just you can kind of get away. Yeah, with but shit it's a lot of here. shit that's normal to us oh, here. Right. No, that shit ain't normal. I'm it saying, just, <laughs> but ain't nobody gonna say shit. Yeah, motherfuckers let shit slide a lot of times. They you know let shit like, like that bullshit. slide. Though. Right, yeah. right. We adapt to, we go around the shit. These yeah. motherfuckers like, oh, this is what I've been waiting for. Shoot her. <laughs> Shoot her. Tie her up. <laughs> Give her a cigarette. Shoot her. Shoot her. Shoot her. <laughs> Give her a cigarette. <laughs> Remember, buddy, they whipped with the, with the, with the uh, bamboo? Yeah, that did. For, 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 that was uh, Singapore. Man, now, the great thing is, like, I, was, I went to Singapore years ago. You know, they give you the pamphlets on the plane to read. Like, I never read it. Somehow, for some reason, I actually read it this time. And I'm going through the different shit, and it was like, drug trafficking of any kind is punishable by death. And when we got there, we knew somebody that day, they was like, yo, there's no drugs here, no weed, nothing. And like, yeah, like, you death penalty. Like, you can get the death penalty. Yeah. That's why I like going out there with any weed is, is forbidden. I ain't going around. Bro, why the fuck around. you gonna point at me? I said the weed. I ain't pointing at you, Los. I How you think that. I, why the, first of all, hey, I'm not going hey, nowhere. Hey, man, stay your ass out of Singapore exactly. with that weed. Exactly. I'm not going over there. <laughs> Look, that's what I'm gonna say. When we get, as soon as we get to Singapore. All right, Los. <laughs> they don't sure have no drugs. No, no, no and, drugs. Uh, UAE? In, in Singapore. No, no, no. Those are probably the most unhappy people you'll ever meet. Ain't no way they happen. They probably the freakiest people. Man, dr no drugs? What else you gonna do? Come on, man. What else you gonna do? We fuck around here. <laughs> That's our drug. <laughs> <laughs> they bust a nut, your ears get to ringing. This is all we got. <laughs> 
That's all we got. We're Fuck them. Them. <laughs> <laughs> they probably over there doing some very strange shit to distract themselves. I'm sure that they have it, but you know, it's like deep, deep underground, like not nowhere near. Literally, where, you probably yeah. have to dig a fucking you, hole. You, you probably chlor- chemicals. You probably just get the Clorox. Uh, you know, that's what motherfuckers do. And then oh, alcohol, hey. they got alcohol, so you know, motherfuckers get drunk and that's shit true. like that. Like, you want to get high? Probably. Sniff these monkey balls. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm losing it. <laughs> monkey balls everywhere. <laughs> no monkey is that's safe. Horrible. Nah, that shit <laughs> crazy. <laughs> oh. Overseas, man. I gotta go. That's the move. Yeah. I just went they overseas. Won't. I just went to Anguilla. Who was Anguilla? You sure? Yeah, I did. Sure? Who was Anguilla? No, it's <laughs> Island. Christina Anguilla. <laughs> Christina Anguilla. <laughs> Christina Anguilla. That shit was beautiful. You was You got a show, I think you said? Yeah. Oh, you did a show? I thought you, I thought you just went No, no, I just went on vacation. My oh, man, okay. I got to thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. My mind travels back We're gonna give there. us a medley. Yeah. Man. That shit was dope, man. Just chilling out there on nice-ass landscape and shit like that. Seeing, That's the Caribbean. Seeing the scenes, yeah. You want the fam out there? Uh, <laughs> what the fam? Y'all asking a lot of questions. That defeats the purpose of going on vacation. Oh, man. <laughs> Y'all Take all the motherfuckers I'm getting away from. <laughs> that's, that, that's that real vacation. Y'all the motherfuckers I need the vacation from. I need peace from y'all motherfuckers. That's yeah. a fact. Me and my lady went out there. Yo, congrats on that. Remember we told you congrats? Yeah. Congrats again. Proud of, proud of that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to take that. <laughs> this is just a black man trauma response. <laughs> what you mean, proud? What you mean, bro? What, you, what the fuck you talking about, man? You glad I'm out the way, nigga? What? what? <laughs> <laughs> you, you think I? You what? You think I'm soft? <laughs> nah, nah, that's the shit you gotta do. Like after, like after the show, I'm like, yo, I'm talking like, what you? When you said like you was proud of me, like, what you? You proud? What you mean? Like, I ain't even really know how to take you. I don't want. I don't want to miss it. Nah, nah, man. I don't want to think. Like, what you believe? So you don't think I'm the type of? So like, you don't think, you no, like, you don't like, think yeah. nobody gonna take me serious? No, you just always joke. You, you, you just, I'm, you just, I'm, you just, I'm, you just like, always joke. You keep playing. Like, <laughs> somebody like to love on me. Yo, that's the worst though. When somebody, not even that situation, but like, it just be a random shit. Like, yo, they be like, yo, like an hour later, like, yo, can I talk to you for a minute? Like, you know the bullshit's coming. Like, yo, when you said that you was like happy, like, why did you? I'm like, bro, I don't even remember. <laughs> you know holding on to that moment? Oh my God, why you didn't tell me this? Hey, put a pin in what you just said. <laughs> yo, that'd be the worst. I forgot, nah. I'm like, yo, I've I, you know, been meaning to talk to you about this for yeah, six it's, months. It's you know, I just never had the time. Like, you know. Damn. That's Crazy how that happens, man. <laughs> Invest Fest. Yeah, man. Invest Fest. Get your tickets, on ladies and gentlemen. We're going to heard. Hey, y'all gonna be there? 27. Pop up Sunday. We'll come pop up Sunday. Sunday, y'all gonna be there. Friday, it's gonna be Friday to Sunday. Monumentous. Monumentous. A time, a time, a time will be had. A time will be had. We all coming. the billionaires. Yeah, we coming, man. All the we... billionaires. Imagine all the billionaires and just a vibe and then music and then random hip hop artists and then it's just a, a gumbo of culture. Imagine smoking weed in the streets without cops harassed. <laughs> Imagine going on court with no, no trial. trial. <laughs> Lifestyle. <laughs> Cruising Blue Bahama waters. No welfare support. Nah, I said he'll fucking That's open every hard. cell in Attica and send him to Africa. Send him to Africa. Wait a minute, man. Yeah. But the Africans just gonna accept him. Like, no, wait, wait, wait. Take the worst of our kind. <laughs> so when they do this shit, wait, maybe they've wait, been don't doing do that shit like us. this. What don't y'all do doing with Invest Fest? Right, like they have summits, they have... They but, it, but, but they do it exclusively, where it's just them. Like we went to Davos, Switzerland, and that's where like, there was 300 billionaires there. It's like the most exclusive place in the world for like a week, but nobody really, you can't really get there, even to get to Davos, like yeah. it's a whole hassle to get there. So, so like, this is in the Swiss Alps. Oh, so you had to... How y'all got up there? You gotta, Don't tell me you gotta, gotta fly up there. You gotta fly there. Motherfuckers <laughs> <laughs> had to drop out of a helicopter. <laughs> Here it is! <laughs> now you, you got take your the, map? <laughs> ride this goat around that mountain. What the fuck? Ride a goat? The, the young thug dance. We did it, we did it right. for a mile straight. <laughs> Skate. <laughs> we was ready for it. Yeah, listen, you gotta Man. fly to, uh, what is it, Munich? You gotta fly to Munich? Nah, 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 nah. We flew to, um... It was Munich? No, it wasn't Munich. What it was, was it? Um, 
the other city in Switzerland. Um, not Geneva. Uh, Zurich. 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 See, come on, I know my Swiss. Zurich. Zurich. See me. I'm going and next you, It's like a two hour drive from there. Yeah. They put us in the mountains. The first hotel we went to, we, we they put us in the mountains. Bro, I thought I was gonna die. It was like bunk beds. It was it was disgusting. Was I'm like, bro, I'm not staying here. I'm not doing this. I thought I was gonna die. No it, way. It's, it's, a, 12 it's hours. a mountain, a snow-filled mountain. Is one road. It's about the size of a minivan. The road is, and we in a minivan, and we driving up. It's like seven thousand feet. Yo, you about to pass out. Yeah, like, I, just, I put my head down. I'm thinking to myself, this is it. We gonna die. Cause I'm like all for the thrills. So he's like, yo, this, can you slow down? Thrilling? His stomach is hurting. <laughs> he's big and nauseous. I'm like, bro, like it's not yo, that serious. Really? <laughs> she said, I'm looking down seven thousand feet. He on a road that has snow on it. And he's like, we turn in. But the crazy thing is, we're slipping, we done. It was a regular car. No, nah, it was a minivan. And it was a 1984 I'm minivan. I'm saying, it wasn't like it was an off grade <laughs> like, it wasn't built to, to drive up a mountain in snow. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But, what, but my thing is, what, like, what, what you mean? It wasn't built. How Bro, you, you mean, Jimmy, y'all pulled up on some billionaires in an 84 this minivan? Is, no, we ain't put that to the hotel. That's what they're trying to put it <laughs> to the hotel. That's what they're trying to put it to the hotel. Hey, man, look, Parker, down they here. They're cheap. No. They're real frugal. <laughs> nah. We, we, I'm sitting there like, yo, when we get to the hotel, I'm like, yo, this is the top of the mountain. It's gonna take us another hour to get back down there. We had to make and it. And it's about to get night. It's about to like the sun about to set. I'm like, nah, we can't drop down this. We made switch out. Right. We had made, a, made a couple phone calls. We had to change our <laughs> lodging. Man, that's that was, crazy. So yeah. you mean you went to the top of a mountain to get to a hotel that? Yeah. yeah. And it wasn't shit still. What shit? That shit was. At that up in the mountain? Yeah. <laughs> no, it was terrible. We had to walk through the it kitchen. It was like a college dorm room. It was like a college dorm room. <laughs> they, had, had to... they had one community bathroom for the whole floor. Yeah. Like it was five rooms with one bathroom for the five rooms, one shower. That was back in New York. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, son, is this Brooklyn? <laughs> yo, it's real pissy in here. <laughs> we Swiss. paying for this? Yo, you finished with the shower? Like, it, it was... Swiss apps and no. Marcy projects. And... Yeah, we had to get out of there. That's crazy. And then after that, it was like, all right. Then y'all got to the right mountain. Yeah, no, nah, we was on the. Then we had to go down the mountain. <laughs> down the okay. mountain. Then they took y'all to the real player shit. The house, yeah. We, yeah, we stayed in the house. Stayed the house. It was more suitable. For real? Yeah. More suitable. That's what took the fam? Nah, nah, nah. Is that crazy that's saying? Nobody could. Took the fam. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, but so like that, this one. That's, the kind of, that's the kind of shit historically where they would kind of do stuff like that. So in VestFest, we changed the game because now it's like, yeah, we're going to bring the billionaires there, but anybody can come. Right. So right. it's, you know, 15, 20,000 people. You could be rich, you could be poor, you could be middle class, you could be just coming home from jail, you could start a business, you could be in college, you could be whatever, like, you know, just come mix and mingle. So now it's a... It's a whole vibe of everybody, you know what I'm saying? Nobody's right. better than each other. Like everybody's just there and just learning and just catching a vibe. No, no problems. Good energy, good networking. That's like you know, it's home. It's never like, really been done before, especially for our community. It's like a first time ever. So. It's, a, it's like a business homecoming. All the aspects. Dope. Business homecoming, entertainment. I love and how y'all just threw Switzerland up there like we knew about Switzerland and shit. <laughs> That shit was so normal. You see how, how far you come, bro? <laughs> Shout you just out threw to it up there. Yeah, we was in Switzerland, man. Ain't That's nobody what? over there but billionaires and shit. Crazy. <laughs> That's a fact. It is. Was that y'all way of letting me know y'all billionaires? God, no, 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 that's no, why yeah. you asked no. me. You ever interviewed some billionaires? This nigga thinks he ain't billionaires. <laughs> Surprise! There you go. <laughs> You're talking to him. Today's your day. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at what? <laughs> and cut. That's all the billionaire has time for. <laughs> they gonna get back in the sprint and be like, they don't know. We're good. We're good. I told you. We're good. No, no one will ever know. How will they know? How will they know? <laughs> How will they know? No they one's gonna know. know. <laughs> They're gonna know. So, nah, man, but well, we we going to see y'all there, and the time will be had. Hey, Come on, man. I'm Nav Reed, and this is The Family Business. I'm Clayton English. You know what time it is. I'm Money Bad Mafia, and we doing perks in the VIP. Man, me, you got to, bro, no, okay. we got to talk uh, about the show first. Yeah. You don't go straight yeah, to yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. so, I, I told you all that shit at the October end. October 1st, yeah. at Zanis. October, October 1st, Zanis. Zanis, Family Business Tour. Thank you. You know what it is. Tickets, 85SouthShow.com. 85 85 you get the tickets. 
for the meet and greet afterwards. And you know, it's, it's not gonna be no regular it's meet It's gonna greet. be the freakiest shit you come ever on, seen man. in your life. Well, we popping perk. No, 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 no. Ass, we popping everything. Ladies, ladies, just uh. come to the meet and greet and it's really gonna be a greet and meet. It ain't just for, huh? It's gonna be a great. My player partners, y'all can come. Y'all about to play partners, y'all can come back there to the VIP two meet and greet. Oh man, it's family business, right? Family we playing business. spades in there, yeah. domino, drinking plenty of liquor. The family business tour and what money bag does is completely separate. <laughs> <laughs> He's more like an independent contractor. <laughs> I'm a sole proprietor. We are not. <laughs> hey, what's up, Fort Wayne, Indiana? August the 25th. I'm gonna be there. What we gonna be at, Javier? At the Embassy Theater, you already know. So look here, hit the link, get the tickets, pull up on me, and it's going down. That's Fort Wayne, Indiana, and that's August the 25th at the Embassy Theater. I don't know who you been hanging with or who you friends with, but if they don't have no tickets for this show, stop hanging around them loser-ass people. I'm serious, but I'm playing. Man, when you shit, time flies when you when you just talking shit, having fun, man. And we appreciate every time y'all stop through here and put yeah, us we appreciate up. Appreciate y'all, man. Us, man. Yeah. Much love and support to Invest Fest, and please keep doing your thing, man. Like what y'all doing over there, earn your leisure. It's dope as hell, man. It's dope and the platform is dope. Real, man. People yeah. that y'all putting on the platform are dope and you know well informed. So big salute to y'all. Keep doing your love. thing, man. 85, 85 South, love, earn your leisure. Be right here, let's go. Take a flick, man. Yeah.